Hey what's going on guys, this is Andrew Chicken and welcome back to another live stream. Today, we're continuing our quest to get the Fernando skin out of Ranked. We are officially up to 18 wins out of 75 for the Ultimatum skin. And uh, let's see, is our win rate broken here again? Of course it is. I have no idea how many wins and losses I have. Thanks, Paladins! Uh, but the last two streams, we ended up making about a 50% win rate both times. Uh, as you can see here, yep, one, two, three, four losses, four wins. And, ah, uh, the other stream doesn't show up. But, uh, yeah. Hopefully we'll do slightly better than that today. That would be the goal. Uh, we'll just have to see. Let's queue. And I guess I'll probably have to use a bot to see my actual win rate. I assume it's still above 50% because of the first stream I did. Let's see. Uh, if I just do Paladin's profile, will that be enough? I'm curious. Ah, yeah, it is. Okay, so we are... Oh, wow, that was fast. We are up to a 54% win rate with 18 wins and 15 losses, so it could be much better, Enemies but could be back. far worse, so I guess, uh, yeah, that's not terrible. So, alright, first match of the day on Jag Falls. I have no plans for what I want to play right now, so I guess we'll just see what they ban. Oh, <laughs> Fernando banned first ban on this map. Honestly, no big surprise. Uh... We do not have first pick, so I'm definitely getting rid of Torvald. Enemies turn to back. Uh, I'm not sure what else I want to get rid of, necessarily. Kind of just see what they go for. <clears throat> if you click on leaderboard, then leave again, it should show it normal again. Ah, of course, you just have to... <laughs> you just have to click on the leaderboard, and then that'll fix your thingy. Great game design! Woo! I don't understand how that's so broken. It's... Pretty silly. Your turn to ban. Okay, they've banned Khan. Just a bunch of tanks out of here. Uh, what else should we do? <laughs> Maybe we ban another tank. Let's just ban all the tanks today. Wouldn't that be funny? You know what? Yeah, let's do it. I'll ban Atlas. What the heck? Why not? <laughs> no tanks allowed. Get out of here. Uh, of course, I did leave Leon open, but I don't care. <laughs> Well, it's Leon. It's not like she's a problem. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, that still leaves the question of what to play. <laughs> and Jean is asking if there are any Leons on the team. I am not going to play Leon. Absolutely not. Especially not first game of the day. Probably want to do something a bit easier than that. I know she has the auto-aim, but you also have to be precise with everything that's not auto-aim. Oh, and there's Leon. Okay. So, <clears throat> I mean, we could do Bomb King, just to make a really easy start to the stream. However, I have played a bunch of Bomb King recently, which would be good for ranked, but would be bad for variety on the channel. Do we really care about variety, though? That's the question. Uh, ooh, Lilith? Okay. Uh, I'll just... Ah, screw variety. We don't need Bomb variety King, here. We'll play some Bomb King. There we go. Just, just to warm up. We will play other characters later. Don't you worry about it. Nyx. Okay. Pretty good point tank to pick here. 
wonder what their second character is going to be. Victory greater than variety? Apparently it's about 50-50. I can actually go back and check the poll I did, because I did actually do a poll about that. Here, let me try and find it. Uh, my channel... He was going on. Shut up. Okay. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah. Uh, 2.7 thousand votes. And I asked whether a good variety of champions or trying hard to win is more important. And actually, it was more towards a good variety of champions. About an 18-point gap there, roughly. So... Yeah, I guess variety is actually more important. I... I mean, I do like a balance of Your both. Turn to back. I do understand that it can get a bit repetitive, but at the same time, I'd prefer to actually win the games, you know? So... Okay, they picked Grover. Oh, I have to ban. Hold on. Uh... What am I banning? <laughs> Crap! I don't know what to do. Uh, uh, I actually have no idea what I want to do right now. I want to be careful about banning tanks because we actually do need some tanks. So I might ban a flank. Uh, you know what? I'll ban Koga. Enemies turn to ban. I'm my game crashed. Ah, oh, welcome. What do you think of Willow at the moment? She's very good. Very, very good right now. I am super happy with the change they gave to her. And honestly, I don't think she needs a nerf either. Your I think I, I think I like the trend of buffing damage champions, so. Ah, uh, they banned Anara. Yeah, they're gonna ban tanks. I think it's more important for me to leave tanks open. For us, because that's what we need. And also our bottom picks. <laughs> I, I don't know what tanks they're comfortable on, so. Yeah, I'll just kind of play it a bit carefully. Uh, what else do we want to get rid of? I really don't know. Azan, you actually want a tank ban? Well, okay, I'll ban Azan. Enemies turn to ban. Oh, can Azan, bruh. <laughs> uh, whoops. I have to tell them I thought they were suggesting a ban. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Aww. Okay. Well, what up? What, what off tanks we even have at this point? I mean, we have Makoa banned, so that leaves us with Ash. Okay, Ash is pretty good. Uh, Rom. Kind of risky versus Nyx Grover. That's a lot of CC. Ruckus and Yagaroth. Oh boy. <laughs> In game chat is bugged for me. Oh, classic. Saying they're going to go Ash. Yeah, all right. That's, that's a good pick. Assuming they don't pick Ash. They also need an off tank. And it wouldn't surprise me if they picked Ash. She is also really good on Jack Falls. So. What do you think about Lilith? Uh, she is very good, but only if you know how to play her. She is a pretty difficult support to play, I would say. Because, yeah, you also need your team to really understand how to play with a Lilith. And managing blood health, managing hex, all that sort of stuff. Good swarm positioning does take skill and practice. Wow, they went for Kasumi, and then they went for a second point tank. That's very silly. I almost... I'm worried that it's sure on the enemy team, but I see that Kasumi being reasonably low on the team. So I'm guessing it might not actually be sure, in which case I don't care. But if it is sure, then what is sure doing so low? I don't understand. This is really, really strange. Either way, we're definitely buying a good amount of Wrecker for this team, and also, of course, some armor plating. Probably just me my go-to items there. Do the usual Royal Subjects ammo build as well, because I think that's just the safest thing for me to do here. Uh, yeah, no, it's not sure. It's a random level 3 Kasumi. They do have a Masters border. I'm pretty sure that's Masters. I think. Right? From Season 5? It's hard to tell. 
Uh, yeah, that's just kind of a weird pick. And I do have to question the double point tank, but it could work if they have just, Don't like, worry, more of a slow bunker left, style of gameplay. And way. next can play very aggressively for a point tank anyways, so... Or main tank, I guess I should say. I, I honestly kind of want to stop referring to them as point tanks, because all tanks are just big DPS in my eyes. <laughs> They're just DPS, but larger. Like, Barracks, Barracks just fat Cassie. Nyx is just, you know, she's a damage champion. They're all damage champions. Fernando's my favorite damage champion. So, well, besides Bomb King. Uh, but yeah. They're, they're just damage champions. Season 4 Master. Okay, yeah. Those borders are honestly kind of forgettable to me. I'm really glad they, add, or they added the number back to the Season 6 borders that we still don't have yet. Because uh, that really helps distinguish them as ranked. Alright, let's go! Go, 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 go. Uh, where are we going? Okay, both our tanks are going down mid. Do some damage there. Let's get Grumpy out. Got my Hex. Yep, got them behind. Ooh, that missed just barely. Right, I'll pop back up here. Nyx is dead, thankfully. Come back here. Ooh, he's got Grover heals and he's got Leon there. Alright, I'll throw Grumpy. Just gonna reconvene with the team. Blow up that turret. We'll hold them off from here. Tiny bit of damage. Oh boy. Alright, I'll get another Grumpy in here. Must that shield. Try and get the Grover. There we go, he's dead. Seems like she's just trying to go to point. Yeah, there we go. There's Barrack. Beyond's still here. Oh, my reload cancel didn't work. Alright, there's that. Blow up, Kasumi. And we got it! Perfect. Well, <clears throat> that was surprisingly easy. I mean, I'm not a super huge fan of their comp, but I thought they'd put up at least a little bit more of a challenge. Okay, here's a Grumpy. I like those Lilith callouts. I'll pop around here. Yeah, she's on me. Ooh, got a Siphon. Thank you. Rover's super low! Easy on himself, though. I don't think we got him. Oof. Big burst. Okay. Uh, I will get more Wrecker, and now I'll start to buy up some armor plating. Thank you for that 2 on sub, by the way, Connor. I appreciate that. Wow, Nightbot has spammed the chat. <laughs> I don't see any other messages apart from Nightbot right now. Wow. Okay, well. Alright, here's Grumpy Bumpy. Let's go. Alright, set up that damage. Okay. I'm going in. Boom! No more Barrack. I need to fall back, though. Oh, there's a Swarm here. Okay, thank you. Nick's still behind. I got her, don't worry. Grover's here? Oh, and that bomb did 256. I got the bug. No. Alright, thank you, Lilith. Let's go in. There's a stick. Here's Grumpy. Whoa, okay. Be a bit careful here. We are one down right now. Zin's gonna take some time getting back. I'll throw Grumpy there. Reload. Ooh, me and Ash, same idea. Linked brain right now. There we go, got her. Take on Grover. Alright, I don't like my position. Oh, 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 I really don't like that. That swarm is just overpowered in early game, though. Holy crap. Shield, thank you for that. I'm getting out of here. Thank you so much, Lilith. Dude, I just tanked like 4k damage with that swarm and that hex. Lilith is insanely strong. Holy crap. <laughs> wow. I should be dead. I still maintain that there needs to be a forfeit option. Some games are just grueling. It's an interesting idea if you can get the majority of the team to vote on it. Your favorite German is now officially a part of the chicken army. Well, hold on. I never said you were my favorite German, per se. <laughs> hmm. I appreciate it, though. Alright, uh, we'll do armor plating. Dos. And... 
Yeah, we're looking pretty solid here. I'll probably get some Reju for Lilith as well once I get the credits Five, for it. Because I see absolutely no three, reason not to. Two, I mean, she's one. doing a really good job. So. Alright. To the left. I have ult. I have resisted the urge to do rollouts. Probably why we're winning, honestly. Barrick is so low. He's super low, Barrick. Alright. They're just pushing, man. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. Going in like that. Massive rollout, and boom. No more Kasumi. Dodge that. There we go, double kill. Oh, my bombs are terrible right now. <laughs> okay. Let me go up and over like that. Boom. Dead. Ooh, he's one. There we go. Dead. Alright, perfect. This is just a marvelous game for us right now. Here's a grumpy. I'm gonna be careful pushing up too far right now. But I think we'll be okay. Wow, that still hit me. Alright. Huge swarm value. Cauterize is ramping up though, so I'm gonna try and go. Yeah. Thank you. Oh no, Zin. Hello. Can you please not? There's some good damage. I think she's got armor plating 3, though. Those bombs did like 600 damage. Oop. I think the momentum carried her past the shield, so I wasn't able to stick that. That's okay. Okay, here's Grumpy. I'm gonna go up here. Ooh, Hex for me. We can easily take out Kasumi with that. There we go. Gonna uh, stay a bit back here, though. Get out of Lilith's face. There we go. Just gonna do this. There's Leon. Boom. Dead. Okay. Grover's gone. Gonna reposition back here, get Grumpy out. Oh, please get out of my face! No! Oh, the poison got me! Uh, I still got her, though. That's, that's good. I think I gave her her ult back, though, because I was on a pretty massive streak. Uh, let's get Rejuve. Uh, there we go. Mm, Bomb King going crazy, I know, right? What did you think of the video I sent you yesterday? Uh, I did DM saying I liked it. Oh, alright. We need to group up. Get a little bit of ult charge off that, but I don't want to be too far up here right now. I'm literally the only one alive, so I'm just going to try and run. I have an idea. Seconds remaining. I mean, there's no way anyone comes through this hall, right? Yeah, no, they're not pushing up that far. I did hear Kasumi, though, so... Had to see. You know what? At least that helps me get a backdraft proc for the little roll out there. And keep pace with the team there. Ten, nine, eight. Oh, uh, she was low, but I didn't have that Five, angle. You can't resist me. Woof, direct stick, only 700 damage. Right, here's Grumpy. Aw, uh, he's low-ish, kind of. As am I. Aw, uh, Leon's gonna take me and Lilith out. That sucks. Enemy double kill. That's too bad. Enemy triple kill. Leon kinda saved that. Fair enough. Ooh, I have just enough for Rejuve 3. There we go. Yeah, Kasumi and Ranked, and it's not sure. I'm very surprised. Yeah, she doesn't have armor plating 2. I, I forgot about her passive. Her passive is why I probably did 600 damage with that bomb there. Because, yeah, it makes me do less damage. I always forget about that, but it is rather annoying, isn't it? I... I'm pretty sure it doesn't have diminishing returns, too. I could be misremembering. But I'm pretty sure it's a different form of damage reduction than what armor plating is. I don't know. Well, I guess we could try and go left again. I do have a bomb pile, so we could just aggressively ult. But I really have to see how our team is feeling about that. Where our tanks are going. Terms going to point again. Ash going a point again. Okay. So we won't do that then. You know what? I'll do it behind this wall while we're in the swarm. I see Kasumi over there. Boom. There we go. Worth it. 
Alright, let's break that. And let me go up here. Okay, I wanted to make sure Leon wasn't going after me, but I'm safe, so we can just blast Barrack. And he pops. Good. Let me throw this here. Okay. She blocks the stun, but she is getting melted right now. You can't resist me. Okay, there we go. Boo, please. Ooh, all right, we're gonna live that for now. Just gonna try and back up here. Grumpy. <laughs> Lilith is probably like, BK, please be careful. All right, we did it. Good games. That was a pretty solid first match of the day, I have to say. Let's get the win-loss counter up. Reset it. Wonderful stuff. Okay. And that's 15 kills, 95,000 damage is in. Also 14 kills, 60,000 damage, and 165k healing out of Lilith. Very wonderful game. Looks like the Kasumi pick didn't work out for them, though. 3 kills, 9 deaths, 40,000 damage. Definitely not sure. <laughs> Leon did pretty good, though. She was having to do the bulk of the heavy lifting there because of that comp. Alright, let's go again. That's 15 TP for us up here in Diamond 3. Very nice. Do you prefer fighting Azan on the release date or Kasumi on the release date? Definitely Kasumi. Azan is literally the most overpowered in the in the game's history on his release. Like there is no other character who is who was stronger than Azan on release. Kasumi was annoying, but even with the auto aim, she wasn't uncounterable. You could just rush her down with a tank, and she didn't have enough DPS to really deal with that tank effectively. So, yeah. She was just a problem because you couldn't evade her attacks, so it was very consistent damage. But, you know, if you won the numbers game of sustain, then you would just, you would still be able to beat her. Chicken Man, do you know how to BK? Asking for help. Oh, you need to watch the guide. Here, look. Exclamation mark, BK guide. I have a Bomb King guide. Just a few days old. It is fresh off the presses. And it'll show you everything you need to know about BK. Well, not everything you need to know, but most of what you need to know about BK. <laughs> I can't possibly fit everything in there. We'd be there for hours. Party up or solo? Oh, I'm just doing solo today. We need a BK guide part two. I am seriously considering doing a matchup guide, because there are some matchups that BK has very specific tips for. That I wasn't able to give in that guide, because yeah, it would have been an hour-long guide. But things like knowing that you can stick Kasumi and basically wait for her movement ability to be over, and then the bombs will still persist after that. Uh, I mean, spamming both Khan shield is an obvious one. That's the one I gave as the example in the guide, but yeah. It'd be pretty good. And also map guides, too, because some maps are better than others. Hmm. GG's Lilith that game, G's? Yeah, you were you were good Lilith. I really appreciate those heals. I cannot believe the stuff I was able to survive because <laughs> of the hex and the swarm. It was crazy. Yes, a competitive horse guide. Absolutely. Man, I should have made that when I had the chance. It's honestly a missed opportunity for them to uh, add a golden horse, too. I think a golden horse would be really cool. If not for the horse champion, then at least, you know, it'd be nice to have a golden horse reward as, like, I don't know, getting your account to level 500 or something like that. Enemies turn to ban. But yeah, sadly, that's not a thing. I'm in a Zon main. I wish I could have showed you my power. Yeah, I'm your so sorry about that. I saw your first message that said Zon. I was thinking about what to ban. I was like, oh, okay, he wants me to ban a Zon. Well, I'll do that. And then I saw the next one, and I thought it was a typo for ban a Zon. Because my brain just completely broke. <laughs> and then I read the third message and was like, Oh, I've made a mistake. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Crap. <clears throat> okay. Uh, Fernando banned. Again, uh, we will obviously ban Torvald. There we Enemies go. Turn to ban. We're just gonna do four tank bans again. Enemy one. Your turn to Con ban. ban? Ronald wants a Ying ban. Okay. Fine. I'll deviate from the plan. Just for Ronald. Now what are they gonna do? Are they gonna pick Leon again? Didn't work Your out last time. Pick. Well, they picked Leon. Okay. <laughs> I'm so tempted. I kinda just wanna play BK again. 
I know I shouldn't, for the sake of variety on this channel. I'm literally killing my channel if I do this. But, uh... I mean, I don't know. It feels like a good idea. I don't know. Alright, we're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. Bob King. Yeah, Ying and Grover are the best supports right now. Ying for pure heals, Grover for utility, and generally just being really good. <laughs> Heal through walls, consistent damage output, best self-sustain in the support class, Vine tech, mm, juicy. Alright, Omen. Yes, I'll play Omen to counter Leon. The guy who has inconsistent damage in close quarters, not to mention medium and long range, versus the character with a pinpoint accurate rifle and high burst. Oh. And also the skinniest hitbox in the game, so I can't even hit most of my pellets. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. And there's Grover. So we're going to be left with, well, any other support in the game, really. We could do Io, we could do Corvus. Could be weird, and I don't know. Pick Maldamba. <laughs> Saris. Oh, don't pick Saris. She's useless. Our uh, fifth pick is a Corvus one trick. Oh, cool. Ooh, that's spicy. <laughs> Gosh, at this point, I, I have to hope that the enemies aren't stream sniping. <laughs> Oh, our bottom picks a Corvus one trick. Ban Corvus. Oh. That was the point. Your turn oh. to ban. Are they a bad Corvus one trick? No, no, no. They're really good at Corvus, but oh, okay. they can play pretty much any other healer, but unfortunately, we uh, locked Saris. Yeah. Oh, man. Ah, oh, what do we ban? Both teams need tanks. Both teams ban Keep tanks. Up. I'm just gonna ban Atlas. Enemies turn to ban. Atlas is on. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. That or Makoa. Hmm. Your turn to oh, ban. There's the Makoa ban. Okay, well that Enemies really clears it up. Well, ban is on. Mutu on DPS pip. Imagine. <laughs> Mutu. Casually on the enemy team. I'm down. Nyx. Alright. I'll see what they go for. Probably a Barrack here, if I had to guess. Ash, yeah, that's one of the best off tanks still left on the field here. I mean, it's really between Barrack and Inara, and to me, there's only one right option here, and that's Barrack. But maybe I think they. I'm running double point with Nyx and Inara. Or do they just dodge? Hello? Oh, they went for Inara. Okay. Well, uh, there's Barrack. Are we doing the double point tank thing here again? Just like the enemy team that lost last time did? Is that a good idea? I guess we're doing it. Do you use AC or a fan? Uh, well, I will let you guess, simply based on the initials of this yeah, channel. Yeah, I should have played ROM, but it's alright. I mean, ROM into that comp? I feel like ROM would get eaten yeah. alive. Precision Leon, Grover Cripple... Pipult. Plus, if she goes treacherous ground, oh boy. I still kind of struggle to think of Rom as a good tank right now, even though he got the buff. I still feel like there are so many other better tanks to go. Either way, uh, that's a double support comp. We definitely go ammo here. Because oh, no, that's a lot of healing we're going to have to chew through. It almost seems like it would be fun to go chain reaction, but I don't know if I want to risk having less mobility. 
I might do it anyways, though. My sticks were pretty good last match. I might be able to do it again. Then again, it is Pip Ash, and if I multi-stick, they're likely to get destroyed by Collateral. So... I think our best bet is just to stick with Royal Subjects, because it is the most consistent playstyle. I might miss the extra damage, but I think that's a sacrifice we just have to take here. That's also <laughs> low-key kind of a good Sentinel game, because they have a slow, a knockback, a knockback, a slow. But I don't think I'll buy it anyways. I might need Unbound for those ults, though. So I think I'll do Armor Plating Unbound at the start. There we go. No, he doesn't ignore Caught now. That change never went through. If it did go through, then we'd be in a completely different situation. That's right. Oh, thank you. Oh my gosh, I got really low there, but I took her out. Anara can die. Hits on, right? Pick right high ground. Pushing down the street. Oop, he's back. Nice pick. He's low. There we go. Got him. Boom. Alright. Coming up here, Grover. Chasing that. Got him. Thank you, Cyrus. Alright. She's just gonna touch and die for it. I have ult for anyone else who wants to touch. Which we'll use now. Just to confirm it. Boom! <laughs> there we go. On Pips late. Oh! I think Grover actually shot my poppy bomb there. <laughs> just threw a second one instead of detonating. Okay. Throw Grumpy here. Thought Anar was gonna go in this hall. She didn't. Who? Behind us. Sorry, Pip. Or, sorry, Zerus. Alright, get Grumpy out. Oh, that's bad. Uh, that knockback meant nothing either. Hopefully Talos can finish that kill. Yeah, he does. Good. Okay. Let's get more of this. Might do Life Rip just to supplement Zerus, because she is going to need to focus the tanks a lot. Oop, I got totally stuck. Okay, we'll go back up here then. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, kind of wish I went Chain Reaction for that pick. <laughs> oh well, we got it. Spawn Trap! Yeah! Okay. <laughs> okay. Or Unbound. A yeah, game. HP card carries, absolutely. Huh? Level 5. If I didn't have that, I, I would have died. I wouldn't have got Ash. In a while, but any time I did you playing BK, the guide's out. Did you rekindle mm. your love? I mean, rekindle it? It was always there. What do you mean? I know I was like a retired BK that's main like two years ago or whatever, but that's, that was a long time ago at this point. Definitely out of retirement for a while now. He's just a really consistent Four, carry champion three, for me in ranked, two, so one. I like playing him, you know. Be careful, middle. He just Be careful, works. Middle. Be careful, middle. Okay, let's go left. That's an Finish interesting it. line. Oop, left, okay. Whoa, whoa. Your king is clean. Isn't there an R? Uh, Leon, sorry. Leon, half. Boom, boom. Nice. Finish him off. Oh, my Nah, I'm dead. <laughs> I was too low for that. Oh boy. Why is Barrett ulting that he's one? Okay. We just need to reset. I'll have my ult soon. Pips here. There's that. Alright, I have ult. I overshot that. <laughs> oh wow, he got healed a lot. Hips one, thank you. I think he got a potion and a blossom. That was unlucky. 
I don't think we have this. They just had the right picks. Enemy double kill. <laughs> yeah, Sarah just needs to stop. Wow, I forced all. <laughs> okay. Oh, good. Play by ground. Nice. Good play. There we go. The on shirt. Ash behind. Enemy killing spree. I'm just barely. And Ara can die. Map on point. Gonna stun. Oh, I'm off the map. Crap. That sucks. Damnation. 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 You'll regret that. Why do people still choose Saris as a viable healer? No, they're not choosing Saris as a viable healer. They're choosing Saris as an inviable healer and then losing. <laughs> Don't get it twisted. She's just a comfort pick for a lot of people because she's ridiculously easy to play. The thing that I don't like, though, is that we were saying that our bottom pick was a good right. Corvus. And then our third pick picked Saris. So... Oh, that sucks. Couldn't dive that with a BK ult, or with a Rover ult like that. Oh man, Saris ult failed. Ash is gonna live that one HP. We probably failed this defense, honestly. We're just not playing well at all. I'm dying foolishly, and the rest of the team isn't able to get picks. She's trying for it, but I'm not even gonna be able to make it back into spawn here because of all this damage output. Yeah. I love percussion, Ash. Percussion? Oh. Interesting. I didn't realize she was running that card. That's why I got knocked off the map then. Can we go right this time? I feel like that just works out better on this map. Especially with BK. Yeah. Capture point spawning in 15 I have ult, so I'll probably use it early. Just rush right. Sounds good. I have ult this point. Also, yeah, Saris is right. Three, Try and use the ult when you're a little two, bit healthier, Barrack. They can get inside the shield. Defend the payload! Defend the payload. Oh. Boing! Going in! Meow! Alright, there's one. <laughs> there's a shield there. Nice. Chasing Grover down. Anara's one. Okay, I'm just way too greedy right now. Oh, he destroyed my poppy! Oh, that's unlucky. He destroyed my poppy, man. Ah. Alright, good pick by Talus there. Let me get more life rip. Rover's dead. Good. Alright, things are looking up right now. Leon's behind. She just hit me on spawn. What? Okay, got her. It didn't even look like she was looking at me, but somehow that auto aim still hit. That was really weird. Leon players, man. Ugh. Come here, Pip. Oh, what's hitting me? Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm leaving. <laughs> I just got wrecked by someone from behind. I think it was Leon. Respawned. Got me. No, he got stunned, but I still died. How? <laughs> ah, this Pip is surprisingly doing a good job. Kicking my teeth in. Yeesh. Ah, uh, Barrack's gonna die. Alright, let's just group up here. Let's just regroup away from Barrack. Yep. Put the right side high ground. Boing! Oh, I kinda got stuck on the wall. Stubbed my toe. Enemy uh, Ash is on your Jeez, teleport. This pit is so strong, I need to stop picking fights with him. He is actually destroying me. <laughs> Never seen a damage pip do that much damage before. This interesting. Crazy. Oh, where is she? Oh, there she is. Got her. Where is he? Ah, this pip, dude. Why is damage pip so good? Do I need to play this in a ranked? 
Loki clobbering us right now. All right, I'm just gonna go in. Hello, Grover. Got him. Okay, Andrew. <laughs> I'll throw this up. Oh, Leon's back. There's some damage. Okay. I'll just let them push. I will be up here with Talos. There are a lot of them over there. There's a stick. Okay. I'll just get Grumpy down there. Ah, uh, pit behind. Okay, I got him. There we go. Jeez. Got her. Ooh, good stuff, Talus. We can still push this. Our healer will be back before theirs, I think. Ah, uh, no, Grover's still there, right? We have two of them! Oh boy. Don't like those holds. There we go. Absolutely destroy Ash. Do that. And there we go. GG's. You got it. Damage Pip is a Walmart buck. Don't want to be one him. He does a lot of damage. I'm surprised. And that self sustain is pretty good too. I guess I just consistently underestimated him and then consistently died. <laughs> Gotta treat him with the respect he deserves. Top kills once again. <laughs> One above our flank, again. 95k damage. They're saying to report Ash. Why? Report Ash and Talos? Wait, report Talos? What did Talos do? <laughs> These are confusing times. Okay. <laughs> report Leon. Let's just report everybody. Yeah! Report everyone! Woohoo! Report Saris! She picked Saris. What's going on? Well, 15 more TP for us. Another victory for the Fernando skin. BK is doing excellently today. Green Bob? Bob also becomes Jade? What are we talking about? Jade weapons, Jade skins, Jade Ash skin? Oh, we're we talking about Overwatch skins? I have no idea what's going on in Overwatch. Quite frankly, I don't care. I don't want to play that game anymore. Report me even though I'm not bad. Report BK? Yeah, honestly. Report BK. He got 16 kills, but still managed to die 10 times to damage Pip. Like a loser? Unbelievable. This guy was just using movement speed, moxie, a little bit of cooldown reduction. I've seen a decent variety of damage pip builds. The one I have used Pippity recently Pippity. is... I believe it's this one? Yeah, it has sprint, lots of cooldown reduction, a little bit of weightless duration, it's more mobility base. Not using the movement speed card, but I think that's okay, because the extra weightless makes up for it. And then yeah, there's this one with the lifesteal, but I don't use that one as much. I actually, I don't even think I've used it once since the card got reworked. Because, you know, the 110% lifesteal build is dead, so why would I want to use Acumen anymore? <laughs> why not just buy actual lifesteal? It scales higher. And it's permanent. That Talos is a cheater. It says, call me Ronald. Wait a minute. <laughs> huh? I recommend Escape Artist at max. It feels great. Which card is that? Is that the speed card? No. Oh, this one. Oh, yeah. I mean, I did a little bit of testing, and I think level 3 is a good spot for me to have it at, personally. I get it, but yeah. I just find this build to be very comfortable. Wall hacks? Talus wall hacks? Were you using the funny talent, though? Oh, you weren't. Wait, it's real wall hacks. It's not the actual legitimate wall hacks that everyone Talos. forget Talos has. You can go nothing personal and then get <laughs> basically Sombra's old passive. I still think this is like the most underrated talent in the game if you're in a coordinated setting because of all the extra comms you can get. But, yeah. 
It does come at the cost of your damage output, so I don't know. Sumo's on Friday, maybe? Oh gosh, you guys gonna keep pestering me for sumos again? I really don't want to, but I guess we do have to do one soonish, don't we? <sighs> it's underrated, but where's the ping system? Yeah, that talent would be busted if we had a ping system. Just like it was really good on Sombra. Good damage pip talent to pick. Is I mean, that's... There's... <laughs> there's one. There's one talent, and it's Catalyst. It's the damage talent. It does the damage. Mega Potion is more of a hybrid talent. It's not necessarily his damage talent. BGS spam is already a problem. Ping spam would be so fun. It would genuinely be helpful, though. Even just a really rudimentary ping system would be great to have. Because having a visual indicator for where something is, or being able to ping an enemy or something like that, it's really nice. It would, it would really help out a lot. No, Combat Medic's not a damage talent. Yes, it increases your fire rates, but due to the way keywords work, that doesn't matter. Because Catalyst just has 10% more damage, and then you have the damage from Explosive Flask as well. And also your teammates can get in between you and the enemy and block your shots. So that's, that's just not a thing. That's like saying Spirit's Domain Grok is a damage talent. When it's so obviously not. Grok. I guess there's a bit more of a case for Spirit's Domain because it's a different type of staff and it is easier to aim. But still, it's not a damage talent, okay? <laughs> Your teammates will body block. The extra ammo is nice, yeah, but just, just, just stop. That's the best damage talent for Grok. Right, yeah, definitely not Maelstrom, which actively increases your damage by 10 and gives you more shock pulses. Yeah, 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 right. I mean, I guess if you want to be silly like that, you can. That's the beauty of Paladins. You can play whatever playstyle you want, but I don't recommend it. <sighs> Looks like we're getting slightly longer queues. I had hope for today with the first two queues. They were pretty short. Especially the first one was ridiculously short. But we're getting a little bit up there, aren't we? Twenty percent more ammo? Nah, nah, nah. You gotta get with the times. It's twenty-five percent more ammo. Pretty good. I do like what they've done with Spirit's Domain, and I find it to be a fun playstyle. I just don't think it can ever be meta, because it's just not optimal. Uh, unless they were to make it overpowered in terms of the numbers, but then we'd have a whole other set of issues. I think they can kind of just let it exist for the people who enjoy it, for the people who want to play it in casuals. And then let the serious people in ranked pick Totemic Ward, which is the actual good talent for Grok. A non-paladin's question, how was your day? Well, Connor, I can't really answer that because <laughs> my, my day hasn't really uh, finished yet. You have to remember, I'm six hours behind you, so... It's uh, 3.07 in the afternoon for me, and uh, also my sleep schedule is terrible, so I wake up later than I should. That talent should chain 50... Enemies turn to Unite? Man. Heals? What? Okay, here we go. Yo, it's sure on the team. The Kasumi main, who I thankfully don't have to play against. Ah. <laughs> uh, Jag falls again. Or second pick again. <sighs> Do I... D does Fernando get banned again? I kind of want to play Fernando on this map. It's the Fernando map. Please. Yo. Your Watch good on my Connolt sucks. Thanks, bro. I mean, not Connolt sucks, but why you miss Connolts? Yeah. Okay, Torvald's banned. Uh, I'm going to ban... We haven't seen any Willows today, but I have a sneaking suspicion... Enemies so I'm just going to do that. And then I'll also probably ban Gone. Your turn to back. Fernando's free. Fernando's open. But their first pick, they might be trying to get Fernando. 
Mm, I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit. And you know what? I'm gonna leave Khan open, so if they pick Fernando, we can still get Khan. So I'll ban Leon. There we go. Alright, moment of truth. Is it Fernando? Your turn to pick. No! Okay. <laughs> well, I guess it's Khan time. Here we go. Your champion your own. Uh, Khan doesn't really counter Fernando as hard as he used to anymore, because if he played Scorch or Formidable before and put up his shield, Khan could dash through and then completely cancel the shield. But now if he does that, Fernando just puts up the shield a second later and it doesn't really do anything. It's a temporary sun at best. So Shura's saying their screen is bugged and they have no champions. Does that mean Shura just dodges? Because they're not clicking anything right now. So... Fixed! Yo, he can pick a champion! Like Kasumi! <laughs> right? Okay. <laughs> Phew! Well, oh, they've got Grover. Oh no. At least they can't pick the two top DPS right now. They can pick Bomb King, maybe. That would be pretty scary. Especially because he can just spam above my shield really easily. Moji? What is this? The Battle of the D tier flanks? What's going on here? <laughs> She's low key pretty good here, though. Don't underestimate Moji on Jack Falls. Alright, uh... Well, both teams need tanks. I suppose we could ban off tanks for them. That would probably be best, so I will get rid of... Uh... Yeah, I'll do... Enemies turn to Atlas. Actually, it might be... Ah, uh, what his skin would we even ban in the damage class? They already have their flank. I mean, they wouldn't go double flank, would they? Your turn to back. Banning Corvus, okay. I don't know. Uh... There are just so many. I feel like if I ban one, they'll just pick another one. I guess just to be safe, I'll do this. Enemies turn to Just back. in case. Throw away a ban? Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Might be Deadly Pines. Yeah, or Omanul. The two rare Moji mains that are actually really good. Grok? I mean, that's pretty bad for Drogos, but I'll take it. <laughs> if we want to be silly. Get that Totemic Ward action up in here. Oh, or Solar Blessing. Whatever, I'll just let them do whatever. I don't get why people ban Atlas playing this game for three years and still don't get it when people randomly say to ban Atlas. Well, what rank are you playing at? If you're in gold, there's probably less of a reason to ban Atlas, but at high elo, Atlas is one of the best tanks in the game when played well. And obviously at high elo, that's where most of the good Atlas players are. Because, duh. So, yeah. He is really, really strong. It's just that most people can't play him. He is one of the rarest tanks to play in the game, but those dedicated Atlas mains, whew, they are scary. <laughs> Lex! Double flank? We did end up settling for Furia as well. So... I guess they're just going to pick a tank then. Terminus. Hmm. Okay. These are some really silly comps. Thankfully, Terminus is going to be all but useless versus Drogos, apart from just blocking his stuff. And, yeah, this if we can just deal with Lex, this is the freest Drogos game. So, that'll be my priority, is to deal, deal with Lex then. 
And I feel like Kasumi should be pretty resilient to Lex, I think, because of the damage reduction and the easy aim. <laughs> For some reason, I tend to struggle hitting Lex players. I don't know why. I guess he's just too speedy. But, uh... Yeah, if we can work together, take him out, Drogos will carry. I have faith. Is the Tiberius card for jump strength bugged? <laughs> I have no idea. I don't play Tiberius. Oh my god, it's Kana. Uh-oh. <laughs> Wait a minute. Um... <laughs> okay. I don't know why I'm playing Khan. I feel kind of silly. <laughs> I'm playing Khan versus Kana. I'm not actually that good at Khan. This was... Okay. Um. Okay, so that's Kana. Uh, we need to focus him. Sure, you and me, we're gonna take him out, right? Yeah. Uh, what do I even buy? Us Death Hastens. Um, crush Term. So, Rezil is probably in order. Uh, we'll do... Rejuve Unbound. That sounds good. Good little combination of items. Alright. Let's go. And so it begins. Up around the left. Hopefully Kana's over here. If not, we cry. Oh, yep, there he is. Alright, we'll just shield that. Battle shout. Hey, look, it's Moji. Magic barrier down. Oh boy. Oh, she is Solar Blessing. We just didn't get any beams there. So our entire backline just got bulldozed. Yeesh. Good game. Yes, truly, good game. We lost one team fight. The game is over. Oh boy. Alright, he's gone. I got a beam now. Just trying to do some damage. If I can. Alright, here's a battle shot for you. Don't want to feed that siphon. Go for the stun! Oh, wow, that's a lot of damage. Okay. Robo's touched, but he's just very, very dead. Yikes! Okay, that comp is working out for us. But it is Lex on Kana, so... Or Kana on Lex, rather. Yeesh, that ranged poke. Alright, I'll just heal. Fury is dead. Oh, boy. Okay, sure, finally got Kana. That's good. Just trying to hold up here where I can. I was worried she'd have Volt for me, but I got her, so I guess we just are fine. Whoa! <laughs> He's getting booped! Good. He's back! Shoot him! Here's a battle shot for you. Seems like she just barely evaded the beam. Okay. Kana's dead, good. Still hear people over here. There's a horse over here. Wow! That activated before he put the siphon up, but it still blocked it. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Conult. <laughs> I had that. I thought I had that. I mean, did that not look like it just hit? I guess not, though. Okay. Uh, there's a battle shot for you. Stay alive briefly. Lex is low, and Lex is dead. Let me get Fernando away from Furia there. Try and shield for Nyx. Get battle shout. Oh, she's still dead. Okay. Well, I guess I'll hold here where I can. There's a Furia beam. Okay, shield. I gotta walk it back. Just kind of be careful over here. There's a battle shot for you, Drogos. Ooh, okay. I'm not gonna ult here if I can help it. Drogo's is ulting out too. Oh, did that battle shot actually block it? I don't like this. Oh, I couldn't get to the beam, I was too slow. 
Okay, we're all gonna fail this defense. We're all dead. Seven, six, five, four, oh boy, I don't three, like the Strobos. Two, one. <sighs> okay, yeah. I shouldn't even leave spawn. I don't want to feed the Molt Charge. Yeesh. I'm sure they shadow nerfed Khan at some point. I used to get all my ults, and now I miss really easy ones. It wasn't a shadow nerf. It was just straight up they changed his ultimate in the patch notes. Made it like some sort of weird cylinder, and it is harder to hit now. For some reason. I get Horde? So maybe I'll last in a minute? Oh, you got Horde? Why are we buying Horde? Okay. Three, two. You can see your messages again. Oh, the way the block is, the way the way it works. I, I, if you didn't know, Chad, I've blocked myself accidentally like six months ago. They haven't let me unblock myself, so it's a bit of a problem. But uh, oh my gosh, I got a beam. We just can't though. Khan is destroying us. But yeah, I can't see my messages in the. Regular lobby chat, system chat, any of that. But when I'm in game, I can't see the messages. Okay. Shoot him! All right. Let's use Fury Ult to engage here. All right, there's that Furia ult. I'm gonna try and blast past to Grover. There we go. Stun to get him off of Furia. There we go. All right, we got it. I'm gonna push up and try and zone. Uh, yeah. I'll hold right. Lex right. Fernando right. Grover right. Grover's really low. Oh. Nice, we got it. See, Drogos, it's not GG. Nyx might be in trouble, though. Uh, go for a stun. Ooh, poor Drogos. Alright. At least they got him. Oh, sure is dead, though. Whoops. Let me get you off your horse. Got Moji here. I'll just throw her. Ooh, rough. Okay. Trying to shield where I can for this Kazumi. Looks like we're fine. There's a heal for you. Okay. Ooh, get Lex. He has no dash. There we go. Good. Come here. You're one. You're so low. Please die. Good job, Jorvos. Here's Battle Shot for Nyx. Since Fury is ulting. There we go. Gotcha. No shot he ults that. Yeah. Okay, let's just keep up the pressure. Moji right. Tanks on me, left. Terminus has ults, be careful. Ah, uh, crap, they got Furia. And our flank. That's pretty bad. Okay. Just kill me. <laughs> just kill me. We should just focus on building ults and saving ults, I think. Let me buy items. I forgot to buy items. What am I doing? A game against Kana that isn't 0-4. I know, right? Okay. Whoa, hello. Stun. There we go. Okay. <laughs> well, I got my ult. I have no idea why they used Terminus ult for that. But uh, I guess I'm happy to have it out. And we have three ults, and we're halfway to Furia and Nyx ult. So. 
good things are happening, I guess. Are you not a fan of the cooldown card on Elim with Khan? I love it. I haven't used it too much. This is ammo, healing, and health. I have another build that has more cooldown reduction, especially for Battle Shout. But ammo is definitely very helpful on Khan. I mean, this card almost doubles his ammo capacity, which tends to help you actually get kills, you know? Imagine waiting for Tormult so you can Battle Shout, but you get stunned before that. That would be the worst. It's a good thing they don't have any other stuns besides Terminus, so... Okay. I have my ult. Not gonna use it right now. That would be really silly. Oh, I'm bad. Sorry. Okay, I think this is time for us to back up. I thought someone was near me. What? Oh, gone. Need to build my ult back, because I missed it. There's a grab. I just need to shoot. Shooting also really helps build ult charge. We need to touch. Ah, uh, Nyx is gonna die for it. Alright, I got touch. Actually, I didn't realize I was so healthy. I can't stay alive. Man, maybe if I had my ult on Lex, it would have changed. I don't know why that missed, honestly. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. It's unfortunate. It is what it is. Should have been a really free game for Drogos, too, but I guess he was just struggling versus Kana, and we weren't able to do a good enough job of taking him out. Seven kills, ten kills out of Shure, nine kills. Drogos went negative. With one counter. <laughs> okay. Jeez. That's unfortunate. Well, it is what it is. That's seven TP lost. All right. You know what? Let's see if we can invite Kana. That sounds like a fun idea. <laughs> Carry me! We can do funny stuff, like Makoa hook into Solar Blessing Beam or something. Or, uh, I don't know, just play Grok. <laughs> I don't know. Do not underestimate Controller Lex. I don't think Kana's Controller Lex. Kana's just Kana. No, he declined my party invite. Okay. Ah, <sighs> well, back to solo queue, I guess. They're probably doing. I didn't. I didn't see anyone who Kana would be doing with. Oh, wait, the Fernando is XSDB? Oh, I didn't know that. I wonder why he changed his name. Hmm. Okay. I have no idea when we're getting the Season 6 frames. They said they delayed it, but they didn't say they delayed, like, when they were planning to release them, so... Your guess is as good as mine. Honestly, though, I'd rather them be delayed, but actually have the frames work than have what we did the past few years, where the frames were on time, but Grandmasters in particular just didn't get their frames properly. Like, the whole Master versus Grandmaster frame split thing was just not functioning at the time. So... Imagine having to make sure PNGs work. Yeah, well, I don't think the PNG part is the problem. I think the problem is how borked the rank system is, and how hard it is to actually distribute to Grandmasters by being able to tell who reached Grandmaster or not. Because, I mean, this thing is just, it's fallen apart. Okay, I can finally see my wins and losses, but sometimes you don't get to see your wins and losses here. The leaderboard doesn't work. If you do actually qualify for Grandmaster, then whether it shows the Master or Grandmaster picture on your profile... It depends entirely on whether you've clicked Master or Grandmaster on the leaderboard. And not just for you, but also for anyone else who's Grandmaster or Master on your friends list. So, I mean, it feels like they're kind of working with a deprecated system. Need to do some fixes, some patching up, so it actually lasts into the future.
Tips on playing in high plat, low diamond. <sighs> Tips for what? Tips for drafting? Tips for coordination? Tips for characters? Which character do you play? That's uh, a bit too broad, I think. Well, I, Gordon Lamsey, I can't do it with Access because apparently Access is du duoing with Kana, so it's a bit awkward. Also, I just realized Access isn't on my friends list. I'm so confused. In the meantime, you should open Earn Free Rewards and watch ads for free stuff. Yo! I can show ads to my entire stream and not get paid for it. That sounds dope. I definitely want to do that. Tip number one, don't be toxic. Tip number two, don't get tilted. That's a pretty good strategy for all uh, levels of ranked, not just high plat, low diamond. Absolutely. Alt, I think? Oh, is it a smurf? Wait, why is access to be smurfing? I'm so confused. Anyways, um... Okay, last time we left Fernando open, he was disgustingly overpowered, so I'm not going to leave him open unless I'm first pick. And I'm not first pick, so we're going to ban Fernando. And then we're going to, uh, I don't know. Great plan. <laughs> I really know what I'm doing. Yes, I promise. Uh, hopefully this will just be back to a normal match. No Mojis, no Stream Snipers, no Kasumis, just regular old ranked. Uh, we'll get rid of... Ah, if I ban Khan, then there'll be no Kana. I think is how that works. So, bye-bye. <laughs> no Kana. Yeah. <laughs> and now, what'll they do? It's depressing because if Paladins doesn't shake up things, game quality-wise, I don't think it might survive to next year. Nah, Gordon, you don't have to be so pessimistic. The game... Ha literally, people have been saying that. I think since the beta. <laughs> since before the game has been released. Like... Your turn to pick. Pe people always get so pessimistic about the game, but... It manages to see its way through. And we aren't even nearly close to the worst of times right now. The game is much better right now than it was in 2022. Or in OB64. And that's a good thing. I mean, we, if we were able to survive through that, Paladins can certainly survive through. Honestly, I dare say a pretty mundane period. Like, things aren't bad. They're not great. It's just kind of, yeah, it's, uh, it's all right. Plus, the summer's coming up, and summer is usually when they do some pretty snazzy updates to the game. Like, last summer they did the anniversary update, and that was huge. That was amazing for the game. So, they might cook something like that again. Okay, no one's saying anything for saves. I might just do another off-tank here. I'm not going to play Makoa versus Talos. That would be stupid. So I think I'll play some lasagna. Because Lasagne. he's funny. Your own. Yeah. Steam charts are kind of tough, and the new season didn't attract players like last year, though. Well, part of why it didn't attract new players like last year is last year they did a champion release alongside the season. I think... People don't care about the ranked season as much as, well, everyone thinks, really. You do have to keep in mind, ranked is a proportionally minuscule part of the player base. Especially high elo ranked, which are the people who really care about ranked, you know? So, yeah, I don't think it's particularly surprising. Like, every season release in the past has come with a new champion. And that new champion has usually been pretty groundbreaking. Yagaroth, right? Uh, Seven, ugh. Nyx, right? This update was more of a technical update, and they said it was supposed to be more of a mid-update, too, in the sense of, like, in-between big patches, so... Yeah. Just, just let them cook, you know? Bad. Also, you don't... You shouldn't just use Steam Charts to gauge the game's health, because that also doesn't tell you the whole picture. That doesn't tell you the player count on other platforms, and it doesn't tell you the actual player count of each individual who logs in during a day, because that's going to be different, too. Enemies turn to ban. 
you know, the actual number of unique individuals that log in is going to be much, 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 much higher than the average concurrent player count. Your turn and that's really the number that matters more, because, you know, the more unique individuals you have, the more of a chance you have that someone's going to buy something and then keep the lights on. I'm just going to ban healers, because <laughs> they don't have a healer. Big brain. No TikTok and no Ramatra copy will save the new season. Oh, gosh. I don't like it when people say that because they were, like, in development. Nyx was in development for a long time before Ramatra was revealed. And, to be honest, they have some similarities, but they really don't play the same. I mean, shoot, one of them has, like, a weird staff gun. <laughs> the other one just punches people. Yeah, they both punch people, but, I mean, come on, if we're copywriting punching... Okay, Barrick. Saris. Oh, they picked Saris as their healer? Well, I'm glad I banned those supports, because <laughs> now I forced them to pick pretty much the worst support in the game. One of them, anyways. Probably not the worst support in the game. Genos might be worse in some cases. I don't know. Off topic, what's your favorite Io skin? Mine has to be still a protector. Corrupted Io, 100%, 1000%. Love that skin. Okay. We've got a lot of deployables. The low-key bulldozer game? Nah, they wouldn't do that. Uh, it seems like both teams have controller DPS. Uh, we've got Inara Azan. They've got Atlas pretty strong, Barrack pretty strong, but no, our healer is definitely better than theirs. Me. Io is just a straight-up upgrade to Saris. If we can keep her alive, and hopefully I can bully the Vic and the Talus, we should be able to win this game. But, uh... Nothing is guaranteed, and those DPS do look pretty scary. <laughs> they also have uh, very silly names. Let's not worry about that. I am kind of concerned about that Atlas, though. If he does well, that's going to cause probably the most problems for me, because that's going to give his team space to breathe, and... Yeah. He's, he's just scary. He's so scary. Who's not loading in? Oh, Barrick. Come on, Barrick. Don't throw the game. I don't want to win TP just because it was a 4v5. That's cringe. Come on. Step it up. I think he crashed. Yeah, it, it, looks, it looks like he probably crashed. I also have to question what a level 2 Barrack is doing in the lobby. No border, generic avatar, I mean, that's not Smurf, no idea is how it? Much I have what does Smurf play Barrack? I don't know what that is. Do right, um, chicken. What's, the, what's, what's the best IO, uh, IO talent? Uh, I think people usually pick God's Blessing, but I'm not an IO main, I don't really play her that much. Uh, thanks bro. Whoa! Deja vu, Soldiers, Victor! Oh, okay. Shrapnel. <laughs> Woo! Okay. And Barrack is here. Good, good. He's going for Master Riding. Ooh, those items make me think it actually might be a Smurf. Okay. I'm gonna get Kronos, because I'm a Zahn. So... Five, the ranks. Four, three, uh, I'm seeing a lot two, of Plats and Diamonds. One, two Golds. Doesn't seem particularly bad at a first glance. Oh, it's Burn Monster. Nico, why'd you point that out? <laughs> now you've made me sad, especially after today's video. Oh boy. Behind, behind. Okay, he punched me. Uh, Lex is down. No. Oh, hello. Throw walls up. Try and keep things okay over here. Atlas low. Good. Get this Vic. Nice. I will allow it. This Try and interrupt is. that. Ah. She's going up mid. There she is. Through the wall. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna hold up here with Lex and Tyra. Tell us behind. Crap. I don't think they have touched there, right? Are we good? Push the payload! 
Yeah, all right, good. I'm getting out of here! No one walls there. <laughs> Run away! Tails behind, watch out! Whew, okay. Well, now we need to get IO here. Or uh, get IO safe, rather. Okay. I think I've made a few mistakes here. Yeah, alright. Tried to distract that Vic, but it did not work out for me. Let's get more Kronos, get some Nimble. There we go. Oh, the Tyra is gold. Oh, right, yeah, she is gold, yeah. Well, I would explain it. Probably thinks she can burn down the barrack. In fairness, she's getting picks. I mean, it's not like Burn Monster is a throw pick. At least not compared to a lot of the actual throw picks in this game. So... Like, you can still do damage with it, you can still get picks. Tyra's still a very solid champion. Very reliable, you know? So... Wow, everyone's dead. Okay, I'm leaving. Put my walls up, I'm getting out of here. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you. Okay, let's go make some space, if we can. Tell us, right? Alright, good. Ward him off. Whoa, Luna's in the way. I hate that about Luna when you move her. She just, like, physically interrupts you when you're trying to move. Oh, man, he dropped our healer. Healer keeps getting wrecked, man. Get that double kill real quick. Okay, Saris is just gone. Oh, I missed that. I actually could have had him. But I'm bad. I'm just gonna let him kill him. We don't really have that much team cohesion right now. Like, we're able to get a few picks here and there, but they kind of just get behind and get the IO. They definitely are playing more coordinated than us. That's something we're gonna have to fix. I'm trying to give callouts when I can, but Talos just goes in, gets one, gets two, ruins it for us. Oh, and I'm super rewound. Okay. I need to pay a bit more attention to Talos when he comes behind, because he usually just gets in, gets one. If he gets our healer, that's even worse, and then is able to live. I'll try and keep giving callouts for him, but we just need to, you know, blast him! Recently started playing Overwatch and I need some Azan there. The tanks are so weak like paper. <laughs> yeah, that's one thing I love about Paladin's tanks. All of them feel, or most of them anyways, feel really powerful. Can change the game. Azan, Atlas, Torvald, Khan, Fernando. Oh, man. Okay, we're grouping up on the right. I agree with our IO. And ours is just going to point. Alright, I got Atlas in here. Made him miss the thing. Tell us behind, behind. Oh man, he just barely got away from that second hammer. Enemy double kill. Try and get in the way. I'll put a wall here. Io's just dead. Oh my gosh. No damage on these guys, dude. And Talos is going to get Lex for free here. What is Nara doing? <laughs> okay. We need to get touched somehow, but I don't think it's possible. Yeah, I'm not getting touched. They've got that Atlas wall. Okay. Alright, save Lex. Vic is half back there. I'm gonna chase him. Uh, mistake. Put the wall down. Where's Io, dude? Where's Io? Oh, she's so far behind. Okay. I thought I was peeking her, but I guess not. <laughs> Mid is not positioning for Io on this gump. As if that would stop me. Oh yeah, it's a hundred percent a roller talents. No doubt in my mind. I mean, why else would you play Talos in ranked if you're not on controller? Seriously. I want to hold over here because I have a feeling Talos will be back. Yeah, there he is. With Atlas. 
Okay, I'm putting a wall here. Ooh, this talisman, he's so aggressive. Whoa. There we go. What the heck? Oh, there's 800 damage. Not that it matters. It got instantly healed back up. Oh, yo! Hello? Alright, thank you. Oof, Talus got another. He needs to stop. Yes, more of that. Talus on right. Eric's going to point. Oh, he's on Lex. Nothing I can do about that. I'm just going to hold the line, make sure they don't get much space off that. Oh, hey, look, it's Vic. I don't know why he got walled off like that. Who, I did not mean to push, push him to point either. Need to put wall up. Io, can you heal me? On the right side? Thank you. Palace over here again. Stunned him. Thank you. Stunned Saris. Push him back. He's low. Get blocked, idiot. Woo! <laughs> okay. He should die here at one point. He's alone. He's got his wall. Kind of slowed by Nara, though. There we go, dead. That's on Barrack, not Talus. Crap. Oh, he's bringing out the ult? Okay. Well, Tyra's gonna have some <laughs> unkind words for that. There we go, and we defend. Alright, perfect. Phew. What is our Io's build? I feel like she's low on Moonlight. She's got Moonwalk 5. Sanctum of Faith. Okay. I guess we're just draining a lot of her resources. I'll get some Rejuvenate, so that way when she puts the beam on me, I can get healed quicker. Yeah, Sarah's with a 15 streak. She's not really dying. That Atlas-Talus combination is really hurting our team. Our DPS aren't really able to be comfortable and have space to breathe because of them. And I'm trying my best to push them back, but they have good target prioritization, and they're not really letting me stop them, right? One. This will do. Yeah, Paladin Spot says he's on Steam, but yeah. I mean, it's not going to differentiate whether you're a roller or keyboard there. Okay. Palace on right again. Whoa, hello. Running away. Oh, he got Io, man. They're just so free back there. Okay. Need to reset. Hello? Enemy double kill. Okay, that was really weird. Damage! I'm not gonna kill him right now. Why would she wall off my entryway to the point? Did you see that in our wall? She really just saw me trying to dash the point and was like, nah. Dude, why are my teammates like actively throwing this game? That Lexel, terrible. That in our wall, terrible. What are they doing? <sighs> okay. Well. Let's group up. I hear Talus. He's not going to be over here, though. What am I saying? What am I doing, rather? Okay, good. He's dead. Got a little too aggressive. Throw some hammers at Saris. Ooh, that actually hit. Okay. Oh, fly over here. Ooh, there was a wall as soon as my hammer went out. Okay, I'm going up. Oh, didn't get healed. Couldn't put the wall up either. Jeez. Need to start getting unbound, actually. As much as I want more nimble, gotta put the final piece of the puzzle together for this atlas. This will do. 
Oing. Uh oh, Sarasalt. Okay, Nara walled it off for the most part. Trying to get behind him. Oh, he's gone. Okay. Okay. Ooh, and Beric just killed the only person who could actually tear down that dome. That's bad. Seriously, what are these lax ults? Who was he even trying to ult there? There's nobody. What? Okay. These are confusing times. I'm gone. Enemy killing spree. I gotta put that wall down. Oh, up and over the wall. Thirty seconds remaining. I'm going in. Dive. There we go. Got him. Dead to Talus, though. I was not looking super healthy right now. Let Luna heal you. Yes. Fifteen seconds remaining. More unbound. Atlas is dead. Watch, watch Talus on Io. Okay, good. He wasted ult. They're not going to push off this, I don't think. Yeah, Baric is here, but I don't think that matters too much. Will Talus be back? He's on Lex right now. Okay, it doesn't matter. Baric's dead. Come here. Bonk. <laughs> I think this Lex is going to go hard negative by the end. Oh, absolutely. Seriously, I have to question the results. We basically don't have a Lex ult. Because <laughs> of how he's using them. I don't mean to be toxic. I'm not trying to flame. But genuinely, those two ults were not good. <laughs> there's no there's no way to sugarcoat it. They just weren't. You know? Capture point spawning in 15 seconds. Lex used his ult to destroy the dome, but the dome was already... Use that really late. Why would the dome was already gonna go down in like a second? Four, uh, three, two, hurts me. One. Whatever. Let's just try and win. We've somehow managed to bring this to three three. We need to focus Talos. We need to focus Atlas. We need to focus Saris. We do that, we can win. Okay, Atlas was late. Stop getting picks on my backline, sir. Okay, he double banished me. Okay. This thing is down, so I can stun him. Oh man, that actually got blocked. He's one, though. We got him. There we go. Throw that out. Damage. Oh, I need heals. Thank you. Rejuve. Very clutch. Alright, I'm gonna try and pop around here. Talus is on the left. Actually, that was Vic. My bad. Oh, he just completely outdamages me. There's nothing I can do about it. I think that's a GG. Oh! Okay, that was finally a well-placed Lex ult. It's just it got rebound by Atlas. Yeah. Alright, it is what it is. Uh, GG's, I guess. Very unfortunate game. They had Atlas and Talos actually coordinating, and we just could not deal with that. I need to go back to playing DPS. I played two matches to tank and we lost both of them. Today is not a tank day for me. I need to carry on DPS. Yeah, wow, you were absolutely right. Lex went hard, hard negative. Four kills. I got more kills than him and I was playing Hassan with basically no DPS behind me. I got second top damage on the team. Inara actually did 84,000 damage to her credit. She outdamaged and outkilled Lex too. Well, not outdamaged, but she outkilled Lex. Jeez. That was just a rough game. Uh, Alright, 7 TP loss from that. We're still pretty high up today. Did I already set that to 2 losses? Am I stupid or just dumb? Uh, oh yeah, that is 2 losses. Okay, yeah. Like title, like results. Yeah, I guess so. Enemies turn to back. Oh, Snoopy's here. Oh, finally. Dude, I had a Lex who went, like, 4-13 and 13 last match. <laughs> I need a good DPS player, Say please. Less. <laughs> I'll beat that. Go 5-13, and 13, please. My, my, my Lex is washed, but I'll, I'll shoot for 5. No, nah, I don't play... You don't need to play Lex. You sure? We just need some good damage up in here. I played two matches of DPS. Yeah, One gracefully. Played two matches of tank. Your team's Realized I need to go back to DPS. <laughs> Enemies Thank you for the prime sub, back. I appreciate that.
Talus Band. Okay. Well, that's fair enough. Very good champion. Hey, Mr. Chicken. Yes. You got a duo partner by chance? I do not. Do you? Oh, shit. I don't think we ever do it before. You want to you wanna test the I water? I think we have. Yeah, sure. We can do that. Your I'm down. team's turn to bat. Whoa! Stream of Sniper? Nah, it's probably just a good BK map. They won't ban BK, fair enough. Leon gone. Uh oh, Torvald's open. <laughs> Might be a mistake. <laughs> They're deliberating. They haven't insta-locked any OP champion yet, so that gives me faith. <sighs> if they get Torv, you get Khan. But yeah, but Torv is just better than Khan. Torv is just the best. Torv is disgusting. I'm scared. Tyra was bad in the sense that she just farmed the gold barrack and didn't try to look for Talos and Atlas. Uh, I mean, yeah. She was gold one, though. I don't want to flame her too hard. She was kind of, you know, in the wrong weight class, if that makes sense. Okay, so I know I just said what I said about needing to play DPS, but you're here, and also this guy's over. So, you know. Uh... Ew, but you can lock it. Yeah, I'm gonna lock it. <laughs> I'm gonna try not to judge you, but we, we can lock it. Try not to judge me? Well, he's open and ranked. We gotta use him. It's too good. They've got Tyra. Okay. Same burn monster Tyra? Question mark? Nah. If we got Snoopy in the lobby, that's not gonna be the same Tyra. Use Golden Hand, but I don't wanna. I wanna use this skin, because it's great. Funny. Actually, I might go Clockwork. I kind of feel like playing that skin. I haven't played it in a while. <laughs> Gold 1 being third is crazy. Yeah, that that's just unrealistic. I know ranked matchmaking is bad, but it's not gonna be that bad. Zin. Okay. Well... Uh, give me... Koga... Koga? <laughs> you said you're not going to try and judge me too hard. We're going to do Koga, or a Toral Pocketed Koga. Koga. Oh boy. <laughs> Dude, this shit's underrated. If we don't win, um. I don't know. What does that say about us? <laughs> it's fair, it's fair. <laughs> yeah, yeah, give me the Koga. Your team's turn to ban. Wait, so by Claw Koga, you don't mean Dragon Fangs, do you? I do mean Dragon Fangs. You mean Dragon Fangs? But why? Because it wins. But. But. But self damage. Turn to ban. But Torval Pocket. Ah. Uh, okay. But the Pierce, though. The Pierce is good, but, like, you can use Claws with Adrenaline Junkie. You can, like, build around it. I don't know. Rollers get so confused when you're going everywhere. Your team's um, turn to ban. Yeah, I guess that's true. What rank are we at? Are you Masters yet? Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I'm still pushing up. I'm Diamond 3 right now. We're getting there. Apparently, I'm just really slow at playing ranked. I've already seen most people walking ban. around with the Fernando skin. Like, how? <laughs> I'm like three games off or something. Jeez. Yeah, I just don't play ranked as much. Uh, rock ban? Yeah. Someone's scared of Maelstrom. You know, maybe they're picking like Barrack or something. Hmm. Grok is meta? I have not seen Grok at all in ranked. I don't think he's been played once in my entire ranked series. Forty wins in ranks on like halfway for the Fernando skin. Yeah, I'm like 
I don't even think I'm a third of the way there yet. And it's not that I haven't been winning. I have been winning. It's just... Yeah, I'm slow. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I know Sophia was doing that, but there's a difference between competitive tournaments and ranked. I mean... <laughs> we've got teams of randos here. You think they're going to be coordinated enough to pull off a Grok strategy? Or is it just that you have a life? No, I don't have a life, so... Uh... Wow, that's an interesting tank combo. I've... Okay, I, the claws are gonna shred those tanks. <laughs> Why would they do that? That's so goofy. Especially Rom versus Torvald. That's like... I think they need to see a therapist. Oh, life rip. Yes. I'm liking it. <laughs> this is going to be a right old tussle. I'll probably just... I, yeah, I think I'll just go thanks, Grandpa. I play Direct Current a lot, but... Yeah, we'll just do pockets. I don't think I need the long beam for these guys. They're not going to be playing a super hyper mobile comp or anything, you know? Metal and steam are my okay. Thanks, Grandpa. Uh, we don't even need the ammo build because it's Koga, so I'll just go for this build then. Oh, it still has Wind Dancer in it, though. Actually, I changed my mind. I'm gonna go this build. And then we're gonna get Kronos. There we go. Should I be extra funny and do, like, Guardian and, like, Horde stuff? You know what? Yeah, let's be extra funny. Let's be really, really funny. <laughs> no way, it's Flux Generator Guardian. And they've got the same name. Okay. If you can, you can try and calm out when his shield's down. Yes, absolutely. Five, four, three, two. Alright, where are we going? Left, right? And so it begins. Okay. I'll just follow you around. Alright, so there's a shield. Alright, easy. Oh, I got the nullify for like 0.1 seconds, but it didn't work on her. Classic bug. Well, that was easy. Alright. <laughs> I'm up here with you. There we go. <laughs> he just popped. Can someone check the ranks? Can someone with the bot check the ranks in this lobby? Shield down. There we go. I kind of feel bad for Drogo's. I maybe should have pocketed him, but... Uh, there you go. Ah, oh, just too much damage. Nullified. There we go. Oh! Alright, we got the heals, we got the shields, we're good. And we cap. Perfect. Holy crap. Alright, recharge. We'll give a shield to Drogo's temporarily. Dead. There we go. It's a diamond lobby? Unranked? I'm guessing the two tanks aren't ranked? I can't really read all that right now. Alright, shield for Snoopy. I'm just bathing in that fire right now. I'm giving her so much ult charge. There's a shield. Alright. Do more Danyo. Just for fun. I had to. It was funny. Yeah, that Ron was an Omega threat. <laughs> he was. Do you see him? He's got like a... Uh, the thing with the gun. Oh, he's back. We gotta blast him. I gotta build my ultimate charge back. Okay. Oh, my shield went to the wrong person. My bad. There's a shield. There we go. I wanted to give shield to Drogos, but he just barely went out of line of sight. But it doesn't matter. Only Tyra is unranked. Zinn is now a bot. Yeah, I can't blame him. So is everyone else diamond? Snoopy's Masters. Diamond Diamond, Rom is Plat. 
Wow, so... So that's actually good matchmaking in terms of... Okay, I understand why the matchmaker put everyone together. There's like... Yeah, that's reasonable. If you just look at the ranked. But these guys are not playing like... Diamonds. What? I'm so confused. Capture point spawning in 15 oh, whatever. Seconds. More Horde. Kronos. I'll buy a point of Guardian. We'll be extra toxic. <laughs> Why is why is Drogo shooting me? Four, three, two, Going left again? One! Yeah. Right, there, there, there. yeah. We made them rage quit. Terrible people. Then again, they didn't Bantor. Oop, I got Tyra back here. She actually wins that! <laughs> I ran out of ammo. She's got Wrecker too, that's why. Oh, she got the Drogos too. Dang, this Dyer is popping off. She was the unranked, right? Well, she's gonna be in plat soon. We got Ying randomly in our spawn? For some reason? Just gonna ignore her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know what? I say this is just a good example of why you should ban Torv Holy shit, he lost. There we go. <laughs> oh my. Alright. Oh no! Anyway. Make sure we're pushing point. Nullify the bot. It's gonna dance. No, it's not gonna be a YouTube video. It's not worth making a YouTube video for this crappy gameplay. <laughs> Hi, Ying. Oh, Grover, please be careful. I have a shield. I have yet another ultimate. Wow, Drogo just keeps dying. Alright, nullify the bot. There we go. I have a shield, I guess. What? How did they not hit? Okay. <laughs> Thanks, game. Jeez, I wanted to diff the Tyra after she beat me in a 1v1, but I guess that's not happening. Zoning ult, yeah, zoning ult, clearly. That's so weird. It was on her for at least, like, a quarter of a second. Should have poked her, but it didn't. Okay, wow, that was gameplay. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Uh, let me invite Snoopy. There we go. Oh, he's Do Not Disturb. I'm Do Not Disturb as well. Let's fix that. There we go. Oh, I got 300 gold. Thanks, game. Ah, he sent the invite. Alright, perfect. Yay! Let me update the stream title. There we go. Do it with Snoopy. We've raided Snoopy quite a few times. He's a ranked streamer, so... Yeah. Report the Zin. Should I, though? I mean... Okay, I will. But, uh... <laughs> we kind of just played mean. Really mean. Yeah, it didn't make a difference. Enemies turn to ban. Yeah. <laughs> that was just that was a very silly game. Ah, now I don't have to worry Your about banning. Ban. I just get to sit here and relax. Lovely. Oh yeah, update the win counter. Statistically, I think that means we're going to lose this match. Gotta maintain that fifty percent win rate at all times. Enemies turn to Bot Zin did more damage than Rom. No, Zin did more damage than Rom before he left, which is honestly even more sad. That Rom just got melted. I seriously have no idea how that person made it to. Were they diamond? Did it say they were the diamond or no? They were the plat. The ruckus was the diamond. But yeah, I have no idea how they made it to plat playing like that. Like that was awful. Who picks Rom into Torvald as the last pick and then does that? I don't know. 
And again, I'm not trying to be toxic. It's just, you know, just Your pointing out the obvious. <laughs> that was not very smart. <laughs> yeah, maybe he's not a tank player. That would explain it. And that's fair enough. Hey, Snoopy, can you save me Atlas? Fatless? Let's go. Uh, Fraud, do you want to save Atlas? And I get BK. Yo, Snoopy on the BK. I mean, I could give it to you, too. Oh, no, I've already played BK twice today. I did a BK only stream, too. I gotta do more variety. At Andrew, they trolled Chain because they were upset they couldn't DPS. Confused. Uh, Royals, obviously. Most fun talent. Shaking my head. What do you mean, shake your head? Have you seen the power of the rollouts? But sticks, though. Yeah, and that's satisfying. But consider flying halfway across the map and ulting three people out of nowhere. Just up and over a mountain. That's the funniest shit I've ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> it's beautiful. Toxic player's favorite thing to say. I'm not trying to be toxic, but... I know, I know it's cliche, but I, it's the truth. I mean, I'm not flaming them. I mean, I kind of you am flaming them, but it's, it's just... I'm being honest. I don't, I don't want to sugarcoat a bad play when I see a bad play. That's all. Okay. Ooh, they picked Eevee. Interesting. Oh, Torvald is banned. Wait, Snoopy banned Torvald. Okay. <laughs> Snoopy said, nah, no more of that. Uh, do you want me to get you BK? Or what are we doing here? Nah, I don't need BK yet. Okay. Uh, well, I don't know what yeah, to do. Yeah. How's your Andro? My Andro? Oh, my Andro is awful. Yeah. Uh, you guys, I have a hot take. How about we lock in that double support, double tank? It's not that deep and not that hard, you know? You're EU, right? I don't know what Yeah, doing. I would go heal, but, you know, double, double support, double tank, it's, it's not that deep, man. It's you are not deep. from NA. Bring, bring your EU meta shit here. Wait, so you uh, want me to play Grok is what you're saying? Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> uh, you, you can just give me Drogos if you don't know what you want. Okay. Drogo. Your team's turn to ban. You can Enemy Shaw. I don't really feel like ban. Shaw in this map. Make your champion your own. Your team's Plus the last few times I played him in ranked, it actually didn't work out that well. So. It would be good versus Eevee, but they also have Fernando. So. And Fernando's very good against stealth characters, because he has that free illuminate. And it's really easy to predict shots, because, duh, he has a flamethrower. So. Oh, I'm not muted. Whoops. <laughs> Enemies turn to ban. Just uh, talking to chat and the ranked lobby at the same time. You sugarcoat it when it's casuals, though? Well, that's that's because it's casuals, and it's not as serious. But in ranked, if you play bad, then you play bad, and... You know, the only way you're going to improve is if you realize that you're playing bad and you're making mistakes, right? So, it's part of the learning process. So, am I going to have to flank here? I feel like that's a bad idea. That's honest, I'm just going Okay, we have a Nara. So I guess I'm flanking then. Is that what we've decided here? We'll see what Snoopy wants. Or go triple tank? Oh my gosh, imagine. Oh, uh, uh, I'm probably gonna play Drogue. Yeah, I saved Drogo's friend. I'm not playing Drogo's. I am officially retired. I don't play this guy anymore. <laughs> Victor! Well, that'd be really easy to dive. Uh, which flank to play? <laughs> they took my Eevee. I don't like that, man. I don't know. I'm kind of thinking Vora. Vora? 
Uh, yeah, let's do that. I haven't updated my build to have the one funny card yet, but I think that's okay. Yeah, Vora's not bad here. She's got the cripple for Eevee, consistent damage. I'll definitely do a uh, unyielding pressure here. Should be a fun match. And Victor's just so easy to dive. I have no concerns about him. We'll need some Wrecker, though. Because that is a fat double shield. Like, even I'm going to need Wrecker here. Realm deserves no pity for what's to come. Haven't played Vora in ranked in, like, a pretty good amount of time, though. So, this could potentially be a bit weird. But I don't think it'll be a problem. Especially if we can push with our Atlas, you know? And it should be reasonably free for Snoopy as well. Once again, they don't have that much, you know, to counter Drobus apart from Vic, and if we can kill Vic, then we got it. So we'll do that. Um, I'll probably still do cooldowns, though. Because we have Ying Heals, so I don't think I'm going to need that much extra sustain. And then we'll also get some, yeah, some Racker for the tanks. Big, big shields. And... Oh, I'm gonna need a lot of credits, actually. I'm gonna need armor plating Kronos. I'm definitely not maxing out any of these items this match. But it is what it is. Hmm. Uh... Five, four, oh. three, two, one! Let the battle begin! Okay. <laughs> Truly. Way, uh. This realm has been cleansed. Okay. Crippled and dead. There we go. He's dead. We're just gonna pop our way back around yonder. Uh, might be dead. Yeah. Wasn't able to peek the healer, sadly. Victor did a good amount of damage. They all just kind of turned around on me. Not as well executed of a flank as it should have been, but yeah. At least we were able to get a kill. We can group up here, hopefully. You know, I don't die. Ooh, crap. Is that Snow Globe? Oh, there we go. We hit that. Definitely Snow Globe. That was a really fast ult. Ooh, Victor's got ult, though. He's just been farming. Wow. Triple Grover. He's got so much self heals early game, though. I'm gonna back up. Ooh, careful. Alright, she's gone. Oh, that Fernando ult. Wow, they're building ults really fast. Alright, let me go in. <laughs> oh man, he's got the Grover ult! Wow, so many ults. Guess they're just farming Inara. Something. There we go, got her. Huge. I have my ult now, so... Oh, she got walled off. <laughs> Good wall. Good shit. Alright, healer heal me. Just throw that damage on her. She's really low. Block that. Get me out of here. Ooh. Wall saves my life. Let's hit that for the heal. There we go. Ooh, I missed that. I thought she was going to keep going to the right. My bad. I missed that Dark Siphon. What am I doing? I'm trash. I'm trash! It's gonna be really hard to draw those ult this match, because Scorch gets so much ult charge, you know? Ooh, bad Vine, you can get Grover here. I'll get Grover. There we go. Good. Hello. <laughs> I'm running away! <laughs> Movement speed! Yes! Snoopy's getting lots of kills right now. There we go. Good. Ah! Hello. Oh, get me out of here. 
Good heals. Damage on Vic. Uh, mistimed that. I assumed she would leave. There we go. Got her. Just doing damage to that Grover. Crippled. Okay, Grover. Oh, he's so one. Aw, oh, man. Oh, huge. Bolt denial there. I'm running away. There we go. And we got it. Good. We are all on such fat streaks. This is just a massacre. We get more Kronos. And... One point of armor plating. I'm really going to be in a credit deficit here. <laughs> so many credits, so little time. Sorry, what would you say? I said, I don't think the matchmaking is in her favor. It never oh, yeah. is when they have two NA streamers on this team. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> By the way, Snoopy, last match. That was actually reasonably well match made from a standpoint of the ranks. Like, pretty much everyone was diamond. There was like Five, one plat on the four, enemy team. Three. Two, I don't know why one. they ended up the playing like that. Fail. Really weird. It didn't they like the rolls again. No idea. Yeah, they're all right again. Yes. I'm gonna go for an ult on this guy, and there we go. Still managed to get him down. That's huge. He can block one ult, but he can't block two, and Grover wasn't there to heal him. Dude, bad vine. Look my giant wall in a second. I didn't need any help, but that's some stuff there. Ooh, okay. Oh. Ooh, she ice blocked. I actually think I might have hit that. Ooh. I tried to vine up to the thing, but it I guess still clipped on Ash's hitbox, so you know. That's mighty unfortunate. There we go, good stuff. I don't want to be up here like this. Ooh, that EV ult, that's gonna get me killed. Well played. Ooh, come on, Inara. Oh, she actually does die there, okay. Okay. We're doing good damage to the shield, thankfully. Yeah. Oh, I had the cripple on the wrong person. Let me just get out of here while we have wall. Someone's right side, I don't know who. No, Ash is up here. She's half. Eevee behind on Eevee. Right. There we go, got her. Why'd you do that so late? Okay. Try and come over here. I know Vic knows I'm here. Oh, that's a lot of damage. I that he dies, though. Oh man, I just like can't make that. That's so sad. <laughs> Worth it. <laughs> it's Fernando. Uh, all right, well done. That one. Excuse me? I'm dead here. Ooh, I got crippled. I couldn't obliterate. That's a shame. Okay. Well, you just need to regroup. I've been on the brink of death before. I was not stopped then either. Well, you would have cleared with Snow Glow Dude, I would have loved to play Snow Glow here, but they just picked her before I could. But it's alright. I mean, they just have a really farmable comp. Victor. I mean, he's uh, he's definitely doing good. He's making it hard for me to farm him, but... Still. He's not exactly a super good damage champion. Alright, let's cripple him. And... Dead? See, look at that. So easy. 
Nice, good rocket. I'm gonna go up here to try and get them out of Or just push them back. Not get them out of spawn. What am I saying? I want them to stay in spawn. There we go. There goes Fernando. No chance for ult. I've got Yang ult. Let me dodge that stun real quick. Go back up here. Don't keep the pressure on. There we go. He almost died. I'm just gonna let them deal with Eevee, I think. I have Vora ult here for Fernando. There we go! Oh, I couldn't obliterate. Uh, I don't think we have it. In our Ying here, we don't have damage pressure. Atlas is gonna come back, try and do something with the big wall. That's gonna be good. Gotta help with Eevee in the back. I'm gonna get back in here. Doesn't mean the pressure on him. Alright. Cripple. Oh boy. I need to stop missing these things. Oh, I got crippled. I actually would have obliterated and killed him there. Okay, there goes Fernando. Let's focus Ash. He's really low. Dead. Dark Siphon. He's really low, but he's gonna live. They just are able to abuse that spawn door, man. He does die to Ying, though. Huge. If we can just stay alive here, we gotta protect Ying, though. Oh, and is starting to crumble. What? Wow, okay, good job. Okay. <laughs> well then, GG's. I'm a casual support. Can Eevee really get ult that fast? Oh yeah, it's because of her talent, Snow Globe. With Snow Globe, you only need 50% of your ultimate charge to cast the ult, but it lasts half as long. So. But it's very good for confirming kills, yes. We got 12 kills there, Snoopy with 17. 10 kills out of Anara, that's impressive. Very good game, as far as I'm concerned. Their DPS were able to get some decent kills. Vic was able to survive pretty well there. He and Grover were really stuck to each other like glue, and in the end there, you saw I could get them Your low, but then they would just go back. into spawn. And obviously I can't kill them in spawn, so... Really just a tough situation. Enemies turn to back. <laughs> yeah, I agree with you. I wish Boris Goldskin didn't have back. right effects either. It's a shame, but what are you going to do about it? Okay, Torvald banned, Koga banned, Snoopy's Enemies not banning. This is going to be a pretty high-stakes lobby. I'm probably going to end up having to support or tank here. Because I know the top people are going to want a DPS, yeah. Insta-locking that Leon, almost level 100. Fair enough. Yeah, rare me being second to last pick. I was almost last pick for a match, but then someone dodged. It was exciting. I'm never last pick. Wow. Insta-lock that Fernando-Ash combo. That's going to be lethal. <clears throat> Except it wasn't really lethal last match, was it? Hmm. I guess we just gotta... See what we can do. They are not... <laughs> they are not rushing to pick anything. Okay. Vatu. After no communication was said. <laughs> Lovely. Hmm. Mm. Okay. Well, Vatu, Ying, Leon. That's a very solid lineup. It does mean I'm going to tank, so... Alright, Bullet, do you want off or main tank? I will do whatever. Your team's turn to ban. Buck. Interesting. Buck into Vatu Leon. Enemies That'll either work out ban. really well, or be the reason they lose. With almost no in between. <laughs> really depends on what they do. Oh yeah, update the wind counter. Thank you for reminding. There we go. Yeah, on this map too, he's brave. 
possibly foolish, but also possibly... Like, yeah, it's just he's either going to be the reason they win or the reason they lose. Which oftentimes is the nature with Buck. He's a very temperamental flank. <laughs> like, he's, he's either S-tier in a match or F-tier in a match. And it all depends on all kinds of different factors. The skill of the Buck, the comp, the... both teams' comps, really. Oh, and the match is dodged by an enemy! Oh, man. Okay. Welp. Still got the belt! I guess they uh, did not trust that Buck player after all. What a shame. Winton. Truly. I wouldn't trust the Buck either. Yeah, unless it's Raven Trick. Because, <laughs> yeah, into Leon, that's just such a risk. Especially if the Leon is good about managing her ult and consistently killing players with the ult, she's pretty much always going to have it for when Buck dives. So she's going to hit some sort of burst combo, be it like Weapon Shot Grace, Weapon Shot Valor, whatever, and then she's going to press ult, kill him, and then have ult when he's back and respawned again. Because you get 50% refunded if you get a kill. And then, yeah, if he was going to play Bounce House, that just doesn't work against Fatu. Really bad champion for that matchup. And then, yeah, we have Ying, so... But they did have aggressive tanks that could have played with the box, so it, it also possibly could have worked out, especially if they can Wombo Combo Leon and just really rush her down. Because... You know, Leon is good against flanks, but she also doesn't really necessarily like getting dived by a coordinated comp, and certainly not by tanks. So, yeah. Okay, you're getting timed out. Anyways. Yeah, he does have a lot of DR, though. That's another thing with the right cards. That's why I said there are a bunch of different factors, but regardless, however the factors shake out... He's either the reason you win or the reason you lose. Like, he, he is... He's a very silly character. I like him, though. He's he's a very fun character. Yeah, I'm officially last pick now. Wow. I am the rare last pick. Wow. I feel small. Andrew fell off? No, I'm Diamond 3. And we're ranking up. We're, we're pushing up. I'm just Your slow, so everyone's reached ban. Masters before me, because I don't play ranked as much as other people. Enemies turn to ban. Fernando Torvald ban, very classic. Yeah, I've seen the amount of Paladins players on Steam. I mean, it's just kind of a mundane moment right now. Your Paladins isn't bad right now, it's just... Ban. The new update catered to a very specific player base, and it doesn't bring as many players back as much as, like, a new champion or a crazy event or something like that. It is a shame to see it fall off, but it, again, like I said earlier in the stream, it's not the full picture. It doesn't show the amount of players on other platforms, it doesn't show the average number of users that log on in any day. You know, the actual unique number of players. But yeah, oof, wow, and in the last 30 days, we have officially surpassed December 2022. Okay, that's bad. I didn't see it get quite this bad. This is bad. <laughs> this is bad. This is pre... Or this is below December 2022, and December 2022 was the worst time for Paladins. They need to do something to bring some of those players back. The next update should really cater more to casuals, I think. I'm just gonna fail. Doesn't matter to me. I didn't hear you. What have you said? I said I'm just gonna fail. Doesn't matter. Ah, uh, right. Uh, can I just save you, like, Barrack? Then. If you want. It's exam piece season, so a lot of people are studying. That's Isn't true. Isn't needed to save? They have Jing already. Well, they could ban Grover. But, I don't know, up to you guys. He's a Seer's pick. He can pick him. Oh, right, right, right. Sorry, but... <laughs> brain itchy. But yeah, if the game is still pulling 3,000 concurrence in, 
you know, June, July, that's when we press the panic button. That's when the alarms start going off. You know? That That's when I get scared. Yeah, I just started playing again for the first time in years and it seems fine so far. Yeah, the game is not in a bad state right now, in terms of the actual game. Like, yeah, matchmaking could be better. Yeah, the meta's never going to be perfect. Yeah, the recent skins have kind of been few and far between and also kind of meh. But, I mean, the game still has all that previous content in terms of skins, and the characters are fun. And a lot of the balance has been pretty good, like with the Willow change. So, Overwatch is probably taking those players since it's doing really well right now. Yeah, sadly. I don't think the meta should be perfect, it should always shift. Yeah, and other ways will shift as they come up with new balance changes. Ebbs and flows. All those cons don't really matter to me, a casual player, so I'm not sure what you Your mean about it not appealing to a casual player. To no, I'm not saying the game doesn't appeal to a casual player, I'm saying this particular update was tailored to ranked, Enemies because, duh, it was the new season of ranked. You know, it's so, like they nerfed aim assist, they changed ma ranked matchmaking specifically. And then the rest of it was just balance changes, and then they did bring back a few modes, which is cool for casuals. But, like, what really caters to casuals is, like, a brand new champion to explore, or a brand new map. Which, that also caters to ranked, but it's just, it's more of a general player base thing, whereas ranked changes are ranked specific, and that's a much smaller portion of the player base, right? Kogaban, they've got Willow. We're gonna need some hit scans for that. She's basically like Drogo's 2.0. Hmm. Andro free? He is, yeah. Oh, and, <laughs> and there he is. Surprising Overwatch is doing well considering people haven't had fun ranked this season, especially tanks. I, I just, I have stopped paying attention to Overwatch because I just don't really care about the game anymore. They've pretty much lost my support with all the stuff they've done. All the abuse with promising PvE and then completely canceling it and all the talents and stuff that we were supposed to get. And, yeah. Your turn like you said, tanks aren't having fun and I'm also someone who Dredge. really does enjoy tanks. Dredge? Okay. Dredge. Final answer? Yes, sir. Okay. Make your champion your own. Barric. Oh, dang, you got a 204 Dredge? I didn't realize. Okay. I guess Dredge will help clearing out those deployables. I don't know. Is he going to be able to survive Willow Zin? I guess maybe he goes Hurl. I don't know. I don't know what Snoopy does with Dredge. I'm just going to play Barrack. Yo, buddy, can you use Grobot instead? Because that skin is hard crashing every time. Thank you, buddy. Hard crash? What? Wait, what? The normal skins and recolors are crashing every time. So I don't know why. Oh. I, I thought you meant that the uh, the Grovo skin would crash players, and I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> okay. Tinker in. Main. Yeah, it's just a normal build. Health. Bullying ball. Failsafe. Rocket boots. How would you say rocket boots in Spanish? Botas de roquetas? That sounds right. If I remember from playing Minecraft in Spanish. Ugh. I think I may be wrong. I don't know. Uh, anyways, let's do. What do we want to start with? Oh, so many options. So many fun things to choose from. Uh, we'll do. We'll do a Kronos Nimble start, just like Rover, because they would be funny. Grover crash bug will be fixed Sunday, surely, Copium? Three, I sure hope so. Two, one. I mean, so yeah, we can hold out hope. They finally fixed Imani's fall off. <laughs> so, they'll get to it eventually, I believe. 
I believe, in the power of Evil Mojo Studios. Okay, uh, let's not take damage from that. Little seedling there. I'll just battle Nara on point. JK. I will not battle Inara on point. Woo! Hello. I'm walled. Thank you, Andrew. Is on slow on left. Nice. You got his on behind on Grover. He's really low. Got him. There we go. Finally got those kills. You can push up. Yeah, keep him healed. <laughs> Ooh, I got his on dismounted. Zen on left. Point. You retreated, right? On, keep him alive. I got kill credit for that? Okay. Oh, she is so low, man. Alright, good. There we go, we got it. Okay. Truly gaming. Platzimong and Seagull played Paladins a month ago. Not a whole lot has changed since then. Yeah, but it was a one-off for them. They were never going to seriously stream it. It'd be like me seriously streaming Overwatch. <laughs> Although I guess Kami did switch to Overwatch permanently, so I, I don't know. Maybe in an alternate universe it got one of them to seriously play Paladins more. I feel like it's harder for Paladins to cater to them as players, because they are more competitive players, and Paladins doesn't really have that competitive environment anymore. It has community tournaments, but nothing like Overwatch League. Which, I don't even think they would want Overwatch League, necessarily, in terms of like how bloated and big that was. But, in general, more competitive stuff would be good, right? At least they enjoyed it. Flats enjoyed Imani. That's pretty cool. Before the buff, too. Zin's behind us. He destroyed the turret. This is pretty free. <laughs> I'm just blasting away on point here. Nara's super low. Got her. Worth it. There we go. Just kind of vibing. I'm kind of playing on autopilot almost. I'm just barrack. Doing barrack things. A point Flats pointed out was the game is a big grind fest. Yeah, it's harder to get all the characters unlocked in this game because there are more of them, and the prices haven't changed as much as they should have in the past few years. Yeah, and Cryptid, Cryptic gifted them the Founders Pack. I think it would be a good move for Paladins to make new characters more accessible. I understand if they don't want to make all of them free like Overwatch did. But, yeah. Like, I think it's time for another price shift. Three, two. One. I won't go back to Overwatch till they go back to 6v6. At least with 5v5 Paladins works, but Overwatch doesn't. Well, they're not going to go back to 6v6, I don't think. I feel like they've committed to that, you know? Okay, let me throw this here. Yeah, Zin's still just on the right there. And he's dead. Okay, I'm gonna go to point. Stop them from capping. Okay. Yeah. Hopefully I won't need that for the retake if they end up pushing us back here. I'll just continue to hold point. I feel like it's more valuable for me to be here than Grover because Grover needs to be close to heal. He can keep them topped off from there. And that's really good. And they're just getting all the picks. Okay, Zin's not even close to coming back there. Yeah, we just got it. Good. Yay, we did it. <laughs> I love being carried and ranked. It's so easy. Look at this. I'm just playing Barrack. <laughs> yeah. 30k is good, maybe? Yeah. The prices weren't as much of a problem when the game was smaller, in terms of its champion roster, but, you know. Now we have pretty much 60 champions. That's a lot more than 30. 
And a lot of characters, I think, still cost, what, 60k when we had 30? So... Yeah, it's just problematic, right? Alright. Dude, the wall was in the way of that shot. How dare it? Alright, good kill by Andro. I'll get a shield here. Oh, the ult cancelled as soon as I got near it. Alright. Move, get his on, he's on Grover. There we go. Get. I'll just keep pushing. Hooray! I think she TP'd. Yeah. Yeah, she's back there now. Okay. I'll save my shield for when they start to push. Like, yeah. Save the shield for Willow Ult. Oh, no, the wall got in the way. Okay, I got her. I got her. Huge. Let me back up entirely and get Azan off of Grover. There we go. Got him. Oh, poor Andro. Okay. I see about getting back over here. I'll put a shield up. Shooting the Warder's Field, not Inara. Ah. I shouldn't even be shooting Inara. I should be shooting Ying if I can, although I'm missing, like, every shot right now. Okay. Goodbye. There we go. Just wait for heal. Dodge and weave, baby. All right, now we got a shield up here on point. 600 into Zen. That basically did nothing because of the game heal. Oh, huge ult, though. Screw it. We're committing. We're committing. There we go. We got the Yang off, or the Willow off it. And that's GG. Nice. Wow, that was a very, very, very tame match. That pretty much felt like casuals. Wow. <laughs> Our DPS just really knew what they were doing, I guess. Oh, you know what? To my credit, I got seven kills. <laughs> Pat myself on the back. And I did the same amount of damage as Andro. I contributed to the team effort. By golly, though. Zero kills on three of them there. That's very unfortunate. Sadly for them, the Willow pick didn't seem to work out as much as they wanted. Did good damage, but only one kill. I'm uh, second to bottom pick again. That's going to happen a lot today. Enemies turn to ban. Two tanks, two DPS, and one support will always be the best team comp. This opens up a lot of issues. Solo tank feels miserable. Your Every support has to be healed up to compete with others. Well, Erlenmeyer, that's not true because different points in time, double support has been meta. Two tanks, two supports, one DPS. Or shoot, one tank, two support, two DPS. There is a little bit of comp variety if you really try hard enough. And you have a specific goal in mind and you're actually working together. Enemies turn to battle. Like, I think it's more of a case of two tanks, two DPS, one support being the safest comp when you're with randos. But wasn't Sophia playing double support in the tournament recently? Or so I've heard? So. But yeah. They both have issues. I prefer, honestly though, I have to say I prefer double tank. I think it is a lot more fun. You have a dynamic of one tank for controlling the objective, you have the second tank pushing the offlane with your DPS, or both tanks working together. I feel like it's just, it's healthier for the game, and I miss that about Overwatch so much. Every time, every time we bring up that debate with Overwatch, I'm always just like, I miss my tank duos. I miss the cool synergies that happened, and also, I miss the, uh, yeah, I guess the team play, and also the fact that it was a less stressful experience. If the one tank dies in Overwatch 2, that, that's a big problem. But if one tank dies in Overwatch 1, less of a problem. It's still a problem, but... Yeah. Sophia was playing triple DPS too. <laughs> Sophia was just dominating. Right. Double support Koa, it's impossible to push. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you can make other stuff work. Meanwhile, in Overwatch, if you take Rolkyo away, it just evolves into goats. And that's very sad. As an Overwatch 2 tank main, I can confirm dying as a tank is terrible. Oh, yeah. And when I've played Overwatch 2 tank as well, it was like, oof, it's rough. It's like solo tanking in Paladins, except in Paladins, tanks are really strong. And in Overwatch... <laughs> 
at least right now from what I've heard, because I don't play Overwatch anymore, it's not a good experience. They had no idea about Cauterize, nor could I explain it to them, so they didn't have fun. I feel like Evil Mojo has to find a way to explain it more by force, maybe. That would be really good. They always need more new player support. Because, yeah, it's a... Cauterize is a very good mechanic. It creates a distinct early and late game. It adds skill to healing. But, yeah, I feel like it does hurt if you don't explain it well enough. When it was an item, it was a lot easier to explain. You buy this item, they receive less healing. Whoa! Yagaroth? Uh... That a good idea versus Dredge? <laughs> yeah, hold on. Okay. Between these two games meta, I'd much rather play Overwatches than Paladins because I can at least kill things. You can still kill things in Paladins. The TTK is too high, but yeah. It is possible. I've killed things all day today. Overwatch tanks are stronger than their Overwatch 1 counterparts, and Overwatch tanks were actually weaker. In 5v5, you need to balance tanks to have no weaknesses for them to work, and you can see why that's an issue. Exactly. And yeah, they were weaker than their Overwatch 1 counterparts, but because there were two of them, it wasn't as big of a problem. Because you could cover each other's bases, you could protect each other, and you could strategize together. And also, I feel like a lot of Overwatch 1 tanks were designed with double tanking in mind. Like Wrecking Ball. <laughs> what is a Wrecking Ball solo tank going to do? That just feels silly to me. That's like Yagaroth solo tank. Yeah, Zarya. I loved D.Va in Overwatch 1. I barely play D.Va in Overwatch 2. Because in Overwatch 1, I felt free to push. Because I was an off tank. <laughs> and I could just do that. I really wish they didn't replace Overwatch 1 with Overwatch 2. But, what are you going to do about it, man? Yeah, Zarya Hog Ball. Mm-hmm. Enemies turn to ban. Okay. So, Bullet's playing Your Grover, which means Antonio's playing something else. Which means... Okay, so I guess I'm point thinking again. Is that right, guys? I assume Antonio is probably not point tanking. <laughs> or, uh, Snoopy. Good choice. I can play point tank, it's just up to you. They ban Terminus, that's interesting. I guess for Dredge. That makes sense. Question is do we do Barrack or do we do Nyx? I feel like Barrack would kind of get wrecked by Dredge. But I don't feel as comfortable on Nyx. There's also a Nara, but eh. I heard a really base take from Sumido, and it was to entirely ditch Overwatch 2 branding. Ditch the 2, go back to 6v6. Uh-huh. Well, at this point, Overwatch 2 isn't even real. Because the reason they rebranded it to Overwatch 2 was because of the PvE campaign expansion. And that's not a thing. Your turn to pick. So, what? Uh, Pip. You have this in game for Drogos, actually, or Eevee as well. Yeah, it would be a good Drogos game. Uh. Nix. Should I do Nix or Nara? Up to you. Both are good. Hmm. Ah, my gut's telling me Nyx. Make your champion your own. Might suck, but... Eh. <laughs> oh, what skin do we go? I actually really like Nyx's skins. She doesn't have that many, but I like the gold skin. I like... I really like Divine Matriarch, for no reason in particular. Uh, and this one's pretty good, too. Permafrost as well. I think I used this the last time I played Nyx, so I will go to this one this time. Rom. Okay. That sounds like a good game for me to use the percent damage build, so I might just do that. 
I doubt Blizzard would ever want to accept admitting failure, sadly. The new tanks would be gross in 6v6. They would. You'd have to, like, balance them down to be on, like, Overwatch 1 tanks level. But then they were designed with 5v5 in mind, so, uh, yeah, you're right. To me. It's a yeah, real pickle. We spread the new order. Like, Paladins has its issues. We talk about them all the time. But at least they didn't do that. <laughs> at least they didn't screw up like Blizzard did. Okay. Wow, level 9 ROM. That's great. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for my Royal Presence, like, area build. Definitely gonna need Kronos. Feel free we'll also do, yeah, show of force. Consistent cripple will be good. But do I have a different build? I have this. That's just radius, no bonus damage. Okay, I'm just gonna do this. Max damage out. And then we will also, yeah, grab Kronos. Because they nerfed her cooldowns like three times in a row, so now they're really long. And we can't have that, so let's buy Kronos and make it less so. Mauga in 6v6 is totally balanced. I haven't heard much about Mauga. I, hear, I heard he was really bad, but also really good at like different points in time. I assume he was like really bad, then they made him meta, then they made him bad, then they made him meta. I don't know. I haven't been, I haven't paid attention. I don't even know what he does. He's like ROM, but different. <laughs> Yeah. Let the battle begin. This can make okay, you let's go. Push! Attack! Alright. Pop the poison! Get the poison on the tank successfully. Build the ultimate charge. Oh, they got first blood on Zane. That's bad. Okay. Well, um, new plan. Let's get a shield here. Try and hold them off. For now. Throw this out just for some extra damage. Alright, it's instead. Good. Get more percent damage. What's really nice about this build is because you have all this extra damage, it really builds your ultimate charge quickly. Look at how much ult charge I have. I'm clearly beating the other characters on the team by about 20%. I just get a farm on ROM. I don't go this build all the time, but they have ROM, and I feel like that's just good for me. You know? Boom. Throw that down on Dredge. Punchy, punchy. Dredge back on point. Your you got that. Okay. I suppose my job here is done. Alright, I'll just throw this here randomly. More damage. You can't resist me. Woo! That was a risky ult. You wanna play rough, huh? Alright, good. Oh, I missed that cripple though. Alright, I'll just get poison. Punch away. Damage, Nyx! Yes! Nyx is a very good tank for getting, like, consistent damage pressure. And, of course, if you burst someone with her punches and her right click, that's also very nice. Okay, I'm just gonna stay on point. Classic movement ult. I'll throw that up there. No illusions. Yeah! Man, these last few games, I feel like they're just kind of playing the game for me. <laughs> Let the top pick DPS, I just play tank well, and then we win. Oh, I pressed tab and that uh, automatically threw out my right click. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, let's get a shield here to block some of that spam. Oh, come on. Stay alive, Khan. Throw that out. Let me get poison up. Consistent damage. Ooh, all right. Got the Grove Rolt. I need to walk it back. Crippled. I'll get a shield here for Grover. Trying my hardest and dead, but Khan's dead too. Let's play it safe here for a moment. Get poisoned back up. I think it's time to go, though. Whoa, Grover, stop taking all that damage. Oh, I'm dead. Okay, that was bad. Let's get more Kronos and get some Nimble. Don't want to be slow with Nyx. So. You can always test 6v6 in customs, yeah. Not going to be the same as the game being 6v6 as a feature, though. Because there are always certain balance things that you can't really control. Alright, got that poison. Trying to close the gap, get some more poison out there. Ooh, wasn't able to hit that. 
And the Ying ult. Jeez. Together we'll rule this land. Right, let me pop this. Try and take some damage here. Get some damage out as well. Got that poison back on him. Alright, I'll get a shield here. That shield died very quickly. I'll get this out, but I'm probably dead. Yeah. Oh, uh, Grover was getting pressure out in the back. I didn't realize how much danger he was in. Doesn't look like we have this. I don't think we have retouch either, so... Yeah, let's we'll focus on saving ults. And staying alive, guys, please live. Oh, get some more damage. More credits. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Max out Nimble. That's good. I tried asking you this, but I didn't. I'm pretty sure you didn't see it. I'm really sad that Rom is so bad. He's my tank main. The recent buffs are good, but they did almost nothing. I feel like he more, needs more damage in his primary fire. 70 to 60 damage per bolt would do a lot. Oh, that would be a a way too big of a buff. <laughs> but I, it could be good. Yes, because he's always going to be an ultimate battery. But if he did more damage, it would help. He does have some of the highest damage in the tank class, but he gets out damaged by Khan, and Khan's just better. And I think he also gets out ranged by Khan, because even though they both have fall off, Rom also has that bullet spread, which makes it harder to hit shots at longer ranges. He's a tough case, I don't claim to have the answers. Alright, we'll just pop this stuff here. Try and do some more damage. Whoa, I'm over here now. Okay. Oh, uh... I want to get in on some of that, but I can't. <laughs> Too far away from me. Oh, now he's dead. Okay. Well, I can help kill you. Throw this out. For the cripple. Uh, he gets away anyways. Just gonna try and stay alive. Uh, I was away from the battle shout. Alright. Got the blossom. Let me throw this at point. Hit the Zen with that. He's so low, but I think he lives. You can't resist Let's try and bring this out for the stun. Overtime. Cripple Rom. Your there we go, he dies. Good. Get a shield here. Done. Can't really hit that Zen right now. It doesn't matter, he's dead. Throw this out. Oh, that miss. Alright, get poison back. Build up that ult charge, right? There we go. All right. We're in control of point for now. Uh, I guess I'll hold right because no one else is. Let's get my slow ready to go. Just in case. Seems like they're mostly up mid, though. I'll throw this back up here, then. There we go. Got him. Huge. Uh-oh. Oh, clutch Grove Rolt. Throw that in. Gotta get a shield here, I think. Stay on point. Ah. Don't like this. I'll pop this to try and stay alive. Get more ult charge out there. Ah. That was a really quick overtime, and I was just really, really low. Let me start to get some rejuve now for Grover. I can get rejuve too here in a sec. There it is. Alright, nice. They are very dead, though. Yeah, all right. Get back. Enemy killing spree. Wise move, right. healer. Together we'll move. Very risky for land. Andrew to flank right now. I'm just gonna throw this in here. Oh, he counted that whole thing. Okay. Oh, I got the poison on Rom. That's huge. I'll throw this here. I feel like they're really spread out right now, though. Oh, hello. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> he actually made it over there. I just don't like how many resources I'm taking from the healers right now, though. I really feel like I'm taking a lot of damage. Aw, oh, man. They got to play from that. Is anyone back there, or is it just turrets? I think it's just turrets. What? That punch missed. Okay. Oh, well, he should be fine, I think. Throw this out. Throw this here. Try and stop them from getting ult charge. 
Any way we can. I don't really like playing down that long stretch because it's just, I don't have range for it, you know? Hello. Oh, I'm too tall. That hit me. <laughs> no. All right, let me get another shield here. Throw this back. Oh, she's low. I think she lives, though. Reg is going to die, though. I'm just going to pummel him. Boom. Dead. All right, yeah, we got this. We got this. Thank you, healer. What's happening? Rami used to have 45 bullets, it was too much, and they turned it down to 40. I was trying to have 70 damage bullets just by Koga. Yeah, 70 damage is ridiculous. You have to keep in mind, though, that back when he had 45 damage bullets, it was a much more different game. Rom was pretty much the only, like, juggernaut character we had. Torvald was long past his juggernaut days. Yagaroth didn't exist. Azan didn't exist. None of those characters existed. People didn't know how to counter him, and so his damage was simply too high for that. But now, everyone knows how to counter him. He's the worst tank in the game. And also, damage reduction and healing builds have scaled way higher than they were back at the time. So, if he were to go back to 45 damage a shot, I don't think that would be a bad thing. 70 damage is crazy. <laughs> we're not trying to give Rom the same damage output as Victor. That would be absurd. But... Four, I think a small three, number boost would help. Two, one. How do you counter Rom? Oh, there are so many ways. Shields counter his ability to regenerate health. Obviously, Cauterize counters him. Every single cripple and or stun and or ability interrupt in the game will end up countering his run. And he has no shields to cleanse Cauterize. He has no shields to block damage, so... It's very easy to do damage to him and just build a girl charge. So... Plenty of ways to counter him. Most characters in the game counter him in some way, shape, or form. Either through high damage, focus fire, crowd control, shields. Torvald's the hardest counter drama in the game. He has really good damage, shields, and he has nullify to stop the run. So. Yeah. Oops. Zin's back on point. Oh, you got that, Snoopy. Okay. Yeah, cool ultimates. Anyways. <laughs> I love that about Nixult so much. Just cleanse it. Oh. That mechanic is so cool. That's gotta be one of the coolest mechanics they've added in a long time. In terms of ability synergies. Okay, here, take this. Oh, I missed it. Okay. Thank you. I'll get a shield here for Zen. We got Rom back here. Okay. Just reset a little bit. Please stop. Stop this. I am so low. Throw a shield out. I can't touch. I'm too slow. Oh, I'm just dead. Crap. Wait. Oh, guys, Snoopy Crash. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah, Drat. No kidding. <laughs> oh, man. Well, that sucks. There's someone still over here. It's Dredge. Hello, buddy. We do need to play carefully, though, if we want to have enough time for Snoopy to come back. We gotta play like full defense. Oh, Alright, I'll just play like over here. I'm still in Grover Radius. Uh, they're really aggressive though. They're taking advantage of our bot. Throw this out. I have another ult. Okay, I didn't actually have the Grover ult. I'm gonna play super cautious then. That's bad. Dredge ult got me. I didn't expect that. Oh, yeah, I think it's GG. Man, we missed Connell. Yeah, it's... His stream crashed? Wow, it must have been like an internet outage or something. Or his whole PC died or something, yeah. Man, that really sucks. That really is unfortunate. Alright, three losses. We only lost 7 TP from that. Not terrible. 
Eight kills. Man, how long was he a bot for? He got six kills. He must have crashed way earlier than I thought. I just wasn't paying attention. Oh, very sad, but yeah, what are you going to do about it? I guess I'll just wait for him, I think. Wait, I'm still in the party with him. Huh? Okay. That that's great. Let me check the stream. That that's great. It's I think so. Black screen. I don't know. The game's just really fucking slow. Yeah, we can hear him. Can you hear me? Yeah. Everything's alright. My uh, PC froze, dude. I don't know. I had to restart. And, like, my uh, PC's really slow. Well, hopefully he'll be back. Uh, it's not even letting me start the game, dude. You can't start the game? Oh no. <sighs> Whatever. I was ended here. Sorry, guys. He's ending it. GG's. You know what I just realized? We're also at three hours into uh, the stream. Maybe I should just end off too before we get any more it, bad it, luck. It just killed my vibe so fast. Uh, I was having fun, but now my vibe's ruined and it's not even loading right. So yeah, I'll see you guys. Man. All right. Well, I'll find someone to raid too then. Can't end on an L. We can. We've done it before. And besides, we're up. We won five games today, lost three, so we're still positive. And, yeah. Lost my duo, he had bad luck. I don't want to have any more bad luck, so... Yeah. Still a very positive ranked stream today, though. Looks like we got one choice of a raid today. Unless we wanted to raid Kami playing Overwatch, but... I think we'll spread the love in the Paladins community, seeing how the Steam charts are right now. We need to keep it going, so... Well, Raid Nerd, she will provide you with some more high-quality ranked gameplay. And, uh, yeah, if you guys have enjoyed, make sure to follow me here on Twitch, check out YouTube, check out Discord, subscribe. If you are if you really want to support the channel, you can watch ad-free, get some emotes, get some wallpapers on Discord, a bunch of perks over on Discord if you're a sub. And if you have Amazon Prime, you can do it free of charge, which is also very, very nice. But, uh, yeah, with all of that being said, thank you guys for watching. I will see you all next time. Peace out.